Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're good. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is for you. I hope you're doing well. Please excuse a little bit of glitching out on the screen every now and again. That is not the game. That is me. Um, I couldn't get OBS to actually find it. It's probably because it's still in its beta form. So when it's asking like, hey, what would you like to capture? I'm like, capture Lords of the Fall. And it goes, cool. What's that? And I go, okay. So right now I'm just capturing my screen and it kind of flickers every now and again because I have to swap between a few things on the back end. So if you see any flickering on this screen right now, it's not the game. Anyway, hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. We're back, baby. We're back. Did he ever leave? I don't know. Did I? Who knows? In any case, today we are going to be playing Lords of the Fallen 2023. We have to say that because the first game is also called Lords of the Fallen. This is not that game. There's a few things that we're going to have to go over before we start the stream, just for legalities and things, so we'll make sure we cover that. But I hope you're all well. While I'm going over all that, there is a poll in the chat uh, deciding which starting class we will use. I'm not quite entirely sure how malleable it'll be later in the game. I've played through the tutorial just to make sure that the game works and to kind of smooth out any... Um, graphics and sounds and things like that I had to do on the back end to make sure everything was good to go. So, I've only seen the intro. So, start voting now, uh, and uh, we'll kind of go over each of the classes when we get to that point as well. That way you guys have a bit more of an informed choice. I'll leave that vote open until it's time. So, the Galilee nonsense, let's do this. First off, this stream is not sponsored, alright? The developers of Lords of the Fallen were gracious enough to give me an early access key of the game, but I have not been paid to play it. So, as many of you know, I left it in the hands of the audience on whether or not we even played this game today, or just did a challenge run, and you all decided, by a slim margin, that we would give the Lords of the Fallen a try. So, here we are. Um, in regards to the game itself, I am allowed to say anything I want. There are no key points to hit, no forced quotes that I need to put into the stream, or anything like that. Uh, whether or not this game feels good or bad to play, everything I say about it on this stream is my own thoughts. Okay, okay, okay. Moving right along. Uh, the developers did ask that I point out that they are still updating and fixing the game, and probably will be up until launch. Um, you know how development works these days, that's always true, and chances are they're probably going to tweak it a little bit after launch as well, because that's just how games are now. Um... There might be a few bugs, there might be a few general issues. Um, I know they've been changing the balancing of the game since yesterday because all of the people playing it were showing them how broken some builds could be. Uh, so they might change the things a little bit here and there as time goes on. But in any case, they just wanted to let you guys know like, hey, not a completely finished product. We're st still fine tuning it up to the end. Um, so. Take that for what it, what you see. That said, though, we are, like I said, going to be going over how it feels, how it feels to play, if, they, if this company has learned anything in the last 10 years. So this stream should help you, at the very least, decide whether or not you want to play it on day one, or if you just want to kind of hold off and see what they do, and see if they fix any problems that you and I find today. So, that's all I got. That is all of the nonsense legality woohoo that I need to say. Um, as far as the game goes, we are allowed to play up to a certain amount. Uh, about, uh, from, what I've from what I've seen, it's about seven bosses in or so. Um, so there's that. Is that sound effect kind of loud for you all? <laughs> it's kind of loud on my end. That's alright, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, okay. So, that's all done. Ignore all that. Let's see what everyone's been doing over here while I've been reading things. Nick, thank you so much. I appreciate you. First indeed. Derek, hey, Lemon, take care and thanks for the entertainment. Also, chat, remember, Lemon likes daggers for fast combat. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Thank you so much. Logan, coming back for five months. Well done, you. And also gifting a scholarship very generous of you and Martin also coming back for 14 months good lord well done you not loud at all okay good that's good 
<laughs> is the horn present? The horn is not present as far as I know. Um, Stefan, I hope this run will be fire. I think I know which way you voted. All right. So, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Start new game. This game did come out in 2014. Well, the first one did, yes. Um, however, the studio made a bunch of games between now and then, such as The Surge, something else that I'm not remembering right now, uh, and have come back, and it's definitely not a remaster, it's definitely not a remake. I'm not sure why they use the same name. Personally, I feel like that was kind of a misstep, but uh, it is the same world. So I guess that's why. But yeah, no, completely new game. Logan, make the Firebomb Academy proud? Proud? We will see. We will see what we can do for that. For she must feed. Yes, indeed. Reboot? I guess, maybe. <laughs> Is Lords of the Fallen that old already? Yeah, it's almost 10 years old. Can you believe it? <laughs> Loud cutscene. Very loud. <laughs> It'll get better, I promise. <laughs> Boris, forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Yeah, strong start, strong start. <laughs> okay, welcome to the character creation screen. Here we go. Now, get your last minute votes in. We gotta make sure, but just in case this sways you, we're gonna go over all the different stuff here, okay? All right, here we go. So first off, we have the Hallowed Knight. This is your basic knight class. Think of it like a heavy knight. I will say I have played through each class just to kind of get a feel. None of them fat roll. At least not from the get-go. So that's good. Um, sword, shield. Uh, I will tell you that one of their items is like a firebomb of sorts. Uh, it's just a little explosive. It's not super strong or anything. Yeah, demonetized speedrun. <laughs> Thank you, Phantom. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so basic, your basic all-around sword and board. Pretty decent. Um, you also have, of course, the heavy. Great sword. Throwing axes by the looks of things. Um, I never played this class, but it's definitely like the heavy, heavy. He's got light armor to start, so again, probably can roll through everything no problem. But, you know, big hit, big swing. Unga bunga. Um, next we have the Partisan. Also a bit of a well-rounded. Uh, you've got some lighter armor, but you also have a mace for close combat and a crossbow for your ranged. Uh, decent shield by the looks of things. So you get that. The infantry is like medium armor, buckler, spear, and throwing spears. That's their whole thing. Pretty cool. Alright, this one here, the Bloodborne. Uh, you've got a wooden shield, it looks like, an axe, a uh, bow and arrow on the back there. Probably, you know, probably a little bit of a <laughs> little bit of inspiration there. The dagger, rogue, no shield at all. You have double daggers and throwing knives. Uh, as well as some starting items that give you some poison application for your for your daggers. Uh, have played through this one a little bit just to kind of feel it out. This one, like I said, has no real defense. But if you can parry, you do massive amounts of damage. And it's also very quick. Uh, the preacher, a.k.a. the, the holy class... Um, got a giant hammer, 
because why not? Uh, but also cast like a holy bolt. Uh, it's, that is their ranged weapon. I'll kind of explain how the ranged weapons in this game work. It's a little different than you're thinking, but yes, uh, it is. Uh, there's your holy class throwing holy lasers left and right. The pyro, who has a spear staff of sorts, uh, and that's about it. And the ranged weapon is a fireball to start. And the condemned. I think you can tell from the expression on their face that this is the deprived class. Um, it starts at level one, as opposed to the other classes, which start at level zero or level ten. Um, its weapon is a pair of buckets. That thing next to his foot there. You literally hit enemies to death with buckets. It's not terrible, but it's pretty bad. I think. Obviously, <laughs> pick at your own risk, as you can see. Um, this is for anyone who's just kind of wants to really start at level one, either for challenge runs or to make sure that their uh, class is exactly the right stats that they want, because that's ten more levels that you can kind of put into whatever, as opposed to the other classes, which will require you to kind of deal with what they got. So, here we go. Um, with that all in mind, remember, you can re-vote and change your vote on the on the poll there. So let's see what you guys got. So far it's looking like everyone is saying Pyromancy. I'll give you about one minute more to change your mind now that we've seen all of the classes, just to be sure. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And I have played through every class except for the Warwolf. And when I say played through, I mean I've played around in the tutorial just to kind of get a feel for them. Because I wasn't sure what exactly you guys would uh, be picking. So, um, but yeah, so as far as today is concerned, my thoughts were either the Paladin, or rather the Holy Cleric person. That would be the Holy Miracle's choice. Pyromancy, obviously, is the guy that there was Pyromancy. Daggers being that Rogue Thief. And the Sword and Board being the first one, the Hallowed Knight. So, do what you will. Oh boy. Do a quick stretch and maybe have a quick sippy break because I've already been talking quite a bit. That is delicious. We are good to go today. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, unless there is a massive change of heart, it's looking like everyone is thinking pyromancy. Gonna give you guys about three seconds. Three, two, one. And in that poll, it's going to be pyromancy today, ladies and gentlemen. Pyromancy. There's a specific reason I didn't pick the bucket as one of your options, because I knew you all would pick the bucket. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, they, um, I don't, oh, you can't revote? Ah, darn. That's okay, it's fine. Uh, we're going to go pyromancy, it looks like. That's, that makes sense. That's pretty on brand. Uh, but yeah, the I didn't want to pick the bucket as a starting class because if I'm going to form an opinion about this game to kind of inform you all of how it plays, I didn't want to be like, this game is so hard and it sucks because we picked the wrong class that would literally makes the game hard and suck. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's more for your all's benefit than mine. Uh, Resonance. <laughs> Where's the bucket vote? Well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Maybe we'll go back and I'll just show it to you at the, end, at the end of the stream, just for funsies. But, how's this compared to Liza P? No idea, I haven't had time to play Liza P just yet. And Ian, welcome. Welcome to the Firebomb Academy. Alright, let's go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Pyric Cultist, good. I don't know which... This is the male, it looks like? I hope they kind of fix the UI a little bit, if I'm being honest, for the character creation. It's a little finicky. Because um, I can do this, and it's like, oh, type A. Is that her male or female? I can't really tell. <laughs> you know? So, I wish they'd say, like, either... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. We'll go with A. That does appear to be a woman, I believe. Alright, we're going to push this to... Let's see, obviously like they have this, but there's also a whole lot of other changes you can do. Alright, so we'll start there. That's good. How do I select this, though? 
Ah, right, I have to do that. Okay. Let's see what kind of skin colors we've got. That's a bit more natural skin tone as opposed to the bright white. That'll do. Let's see what other colors they've got here. Just to kind of give a little bit of visualization here. They've got a full, the full gambit, I'd say. All right. Uh, hair. It's a little close. That's okay. Lots of hair options to choose from. You've got such as this and all that good stuff. You've got the classics from that you're probably used to from Dark Souls. All the braids that you that you crave. The braid that you crave. Um, <laughs> the the Holy Abbot, of course. Yes. The Pompadour. All sorts of good stuff here. I'm gonna go with this one. This one feels right. Hue. I'm gonna turn it just a little this way. Saturation is fine. Brightness. Let's turn it up a smidge. That should do it. I feel like. Uh, hold on. Wasn't done yet. Facial hair. I know. I haven't actually looked at the facial hair options. Huh. There is a, a lot more than I was expecting. Very cool. Uh, obviously, we don't need one today. Uh, all right. Tattoos. I am not a fan of the tattoos myself. I just don't like to do that for my characters. But uh, in case you were wondering, there is all sorts of options here. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'll turn that one off. Nose. Wow, there's like one first tattoos for every portion of your face. That's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go with normal. It's not gonna matter that much. We're, our character is probably gonna be covered in armor, so it won't really matter too hard here. All right, that is the head taken care of. Let's go to body. All right, wow, you are emaciated. Oh my god, someone, someone get this character some food. Uh, let's see. Muscular is fine. How do I get to? How do I get to the triangle? I want the triangle. Like I said, this this uh this UI for the beginning. Kind of not really my thing. Feels... Feels weird. Let's see. We can lock in things, which is cool, I guess, but... Oh, there we go. Now it's working. All right. Uh, that's better. That's, that's a bit more natural. Let's go with that. That's good. All right. And tattoos, again. Don't really care for them myself. So we're gonna turn those off, just in case they, uh, my skin ever shows. And then we'll get to all the uh, stuff that you guys are doing over there in a second. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, there she is. Not bad. Like you, like I said, can't tell any of that nonsense that we just did. So that's cool. All right, lemon is the name. Don't wear it out. Before we begin, uh, I saw a couple of things going on in the background. Give me one second. Let me see what I missed here. Zip zap zoop. Logan. Just got off work not long ago. Got a pool tournament at once. You need to sleep, but want to watch you play? The VOD will be there. I promise. Go on, get some rest. You need it. Wooly. So excited to get my opinion on this game. Looking forward to it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see, Caseification, big thanks. Your videos have been a comforting distraction during some tough times. Aw, well, I hope things get better for you, but thank you. I really appreciate that. And Nick, Liza P is definitely joining Elden Ring on drinking game list. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The amount of comments that I have gotten asking what kind of Liza P runs we're doing, insane. When I have time, I will play it, I promise. <laughs> I have not had time. I just got back to the country. I've been running around. Give me a break. I also just found out that I can make Diablo 1 work on my computer. <laughs> oh, cutscene, sorry. Shh, shh. Cutscene. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. 
Our work is of the greatest import. Getting some real uh, blasphemous vibes from uh, the dialogue there. Hope that changes. Um, that's probably also just because I've been playing a lot of blasphemous in the last week or two. All right, tutorial time. Let's do it. Let's go. If this game is good, will you make challenge run? Probably not for a while. Um, I have a tendency to let new games breathe because you all want to play the game. You don't want to be spoiled about the game, right? No one wants that, so. All right. Let's look and what we got. Movement. Camera. Feels about right. Um, the character does not feel clunky. Much better than the first game. For sure on that regard. I feel like I actually have control of my character here. Uh, akin to like Dark Souls 3, I would say, in comparison. At least as far as movement is concerned. There's my quick attack. Alright, let's kind of play around with that a little bit. Let's see. We've got the... A little bit of a wombo combo there. The right trigger is the same. However, if I hold it... There it goes. There's the heavy attack. Okay, very good. Moving right along. Alright, uh, right stick to lock on, as we're used to. I don't think there's a backstab. It does not appear to be. Ow. Alright, there we go. Got some souls there. That all feels right. So combat is a little slow, at least with this current class I've got here, but that's alright. Move all that out of the way so I can grab this. Enervated Vigor Skull. Oh boy, what is happening here? I guess... Oh, you know what? Actually... No? Alright. Don't know what's going on there. Alright. Let's move right along. Locking targets. Yes, we know how to do that. It is Dark Souls. It is uh, just you can shift between targets. No issues. No issues there. Feels good. Feels right. Oh, charge that. Ooh, 150. As opposed to 75. Uh-oh. Right, there is some weapon bounce off of things. Makes sense. No issues, no issues. Anything hidden back here? You can sprint in this game. Very good. Dr. Face Robber, two years. Jesus. Am I that old? Let's go, Mr. Limbon. Limbon? <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Lemon. That's the way. Two years. That's insane. Good lord. All right. There is a jump button. Whoa. Although I think there was something down here. Yes, there is. What do we got? Forsworn. That is... What? What is that? Well, the Vigor Skull we got was, uh, Vigor is apparently souls in this game. So let's go ahead and pop that bad boy. Yoink. Uh, and let's see here. Here it is. Armor tinked. Ah, uh, there you go. So it's an armor color. Alright, can't use it here. I'm sure if I... Oh, don't, don't want to exit things. Um... Yeah, so we should be able to use that on our armor to change the color. Personally, I like the way ours looks right now, so we're not going to bother. All right. So, yeah, sprinting works. When you're sprinting, if you press A, you'll jump. If you press A while you're walking around, nothing happens. So the it's kind of like a weird mixture of Dark Souls, where if you're sprinting and then pressing a secondary button, you can jump. So that's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, dashing and rolling. Basically, pressing B lets you do a roll. Um, if you're locked on and press B, you have a Bloodborne dash, unless you do it twice, in which case you do a long-form roll. A lot of inspiration from the Bloodborne, Soulsborne games. You can really see that coming through in the control scheme. But, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's see. Open up your inventory. Yes, okay, very good. We've got... A rock! My favorite. Let's see. And this is going to go into how ranged weapons work. So, in this game, you have several 
ranged stats. Stats is the wrong word for it. It'll be easier if I show you. Hold on. How do I equip this? I need to go here. No, I don't want to do that one. Is it here? No? That's because I have the staff, isn't it? Yeah, it's because I have the staff. If I did not have the staff, which I will just remove for a second here. Let's see if that works. No? How do I do this? How do I do this? Ah! There's something. Throwing hand. Yes. There it is. Oh, inter interesting. Huh, so you can only have the either pyromancies or the thing, but not both. All right, well, that's okay. We'll just show off how this works. Um, <laughs> Astrith and Slimebrain, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. So, the way this game works for ranged weapons, if you look under the stamina bar, you'll see what appears to be just a couple little dashes there. Uh, in my current form, my ranged weapon is a rock. Um, it, by using this rock, it would take up one of those little pegs there. Uh, however, as a pyromancer, we have more options. We can go with the cultist catalyst instead. Uh, in which case, it no longer uses that, but it now uses a mana bar instead. Let's see, if I go to... Oh, right. And because I have that, I can now equip which spell gets cast with it. There you go. It's right there. All right. And then, uh, for example, if I had this catalyst open, I could have up to three spells equipped once I know them. We'll get into that in a bit. Right now, all we know is the first one. Um, and that's how you do that. So, how does fire work? Uh, it is, it's as strong as my weapon is right now. Not bad, and the Pyromancy certainly has plenty of mana to work with, so that's good. Can also knock that down and get a wooden cross. Your very own wooden cross. I'm actually going to remove that here. I'm going to put it on right bumper instead. I like that a little bit more. Uh, what is this wooden cross that I've gotten? Oh, it's a weapon of sorts. It's an axe? Is that right? Hmm. Benefits from agility. Attack power is slightly stronger. The cultist staff we have now does fire damage. This one's straight melee. I would do want to see. Oh. Well, there you go. That is, uh... That's what that looks like. Okay. We're going to stick with our pyro staff for now. Actually, question... What has better blocking? 27, 22. Nope. Happy with our choice. View. All right. You don't like the pickup prompt? Yeah. There's a, there's a few UI things that I'm kind of already kind of leaning towards. Like, I don't really like the way they did it. It just feels kind of generic. I don't know. Um, that could be very subject to change, though, for all we know. All right. Big thing about this game. You'll notice I have a lantern on my hip there. Uh, the big thing about this game that's a little different is when you use your lantern, you can see into uh, another universe, essentially. So that's weird. Um, <laughs> makes thing, It makes walls appear, makes walls disappear, that kind of thing, depending on which universe you're talking. Uh, for example, we now see why we can't get through that door, because that thing is there. Um, however, if we look at this, huh, there's no wall here. Well, don't mind if I just walk on through. And there you go. And that is but one part of the lantern. We'll get into the rest of it in a bit. Let's see. If I hold left bumper and right trigger, I can do a multi-hit attack. Okay. That did not. Left bumper, right trigger simultaneously. Oh, press them at the same time. Hmm. Okay. It seems to be more of like a different attack. That's for at least for this weapon. I know the other weapons did actually have like multi-hit attacks, so. All right, uh, it's also telling you, hey, by the way, you can do all sorts of crazy combos. For example, I can two-hand this weapon. And now it's more of a stabbing halberd animation. Ow. You got some reach there, buddy. Good for you. Uh, 
What is the R2 if we do that? Ooh, big old baseball swing. Nice. A little bit of a dancing board there. That's fun. Love it. You love to see it. Yeah, I do like the two-handed more than I like the one-handed animation of this. Uh, does it let me still jump to Pyromancy? It does. Awesome. I can two-hand and still Pyromancy. Very nice. Uh, let's use our Estus. Very quick animation. Not bad at all. Oh, well, got ahead of myself there. That's fine. And now it's telling us about Umbral Rifting, which I will explain to you better than that tutorial will ever. All right. So, as you can see here, slight problem. Need to get across. Can't quite make it. Using our lantern, we can see that there is a way to go. But we can't do it because as soon as we quote like fall or jump, we have to put the lantern away, which means we can't get to the other side. However, if we hold X, we are now officially in the Twilight Zone. And the way this game works is, as you can see, my health bar now is slightly smaller. I'll have to kill some enemies to get that back. Um, but uh, yeah, we're welcome to the Nightmare Zone. If we stay here too long, enemies allegedly will start chasing us, um, hunting us down. Haven't seen that myself, but I'm looking forward to that mechanic. Um, let's see, what else is happening here? Uh, obviously, we're in the Nightmare Zone. You cannot leave the Nightmare Zone unless you find an actual exit. So me trying to uh, press the button again to get out, not a thing. So once you're in, you're committed. So got to be careful when you do that. There we go. Also, I've noticed uh, if you die, you enter the Nightmare Zone uh, and then have to find your way out. It's basically kind of like a Shadows Die Twice mechanic, except in a different universe. Um, however, if you die in the Nightmare Zone, you're straight up just dead. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Alright, down we go. So, in the Nightmare Zone, there's a couple, uh, puzzle elements. Mainly just grabbing enemies with it. And then just kind of ripping them, ripping their souls out. Because, you know, why the hell not? Uh... And that opens up some doorways for us. But we can also do that in combat, which I'll show you. And the idea is, I use my lantern, yank out his soul, and then if I smack his soul a little bit, it does a lot of damage to him personally. So it kind of gives you like a brief moment where you can do a lot of damage to an enemy before they come back to normal. Um, you have to charge this up. As you can see, the circle below my mana bar is now empty. Um, it doesn't affect how you use it on puzzle elements, at least. So, like, I can still open walls and things. But when it comes to enemies, you need to get that back. In order to get that back, you have to get it from, like, these pod things. Just, like, absorb it. Like so. Once you absorb enough of it, the ball on the bottom left there will turn blue all the way. And once that happens, you can use your siphon attack again. There we go. So right now it takes about four to do that. All right, let's talk about the wither, I guess. Uh, when entering the umbral, you uh, have some problems. This can be recovered by damaging enemies. However, you lose it instantly if you are struck. So let's see. So if I run up here and give you the old smackerino... There you go. Much like Bloodborne. Uh, attacking enemies will regain that thing. If you get hit, it goes bye-bye. Um, it, Unlike Bloodborne, it is there until you get hit. So there's no rush. It's just a matter of playing safe. So let's get that wither all the way back. There we go. And then... Ow. I was trying to block, but that didn't really pan out. There we go. As you can see, if I block, ow, uh, but if I block, we do take the chip damage, which sucks. I'm sure if there are certain shields and things that will let you actually uh, not take as much chip damage or take zero chip damage. But the whole thing is that, you know, you block it, you take the chip damage, and then you have to get aggressive to get your health back. 
So that's kind of the play there, I do believe. All right, wow, we're all the way back to the beginning, huh? Cool. Well, this also let me show off the uh, the parry system. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Come here, you. I am not good at parrying with this weapon. That is good. That is fun. Come on, do it again. There it is. All right, so there's a little parry there. And when you break their stagger, or stamina, you can then do that. Certain weapons give more stamina damage than others. I've noticed for some reason that the dagger, uh, while it would take a lot more damage if you failed, because it has very poor defense, good lord, um, it seems to be the case that it's like, if you have a sh certain weapons just have more stamina damage, that's really what it comes down to. I haven't quite figured out all the system yet, in that regard. I do miss my... <laughs> I do miss my dagger parry, though. That one has a smaller parry window, and it just feels tighter to me. This one's a little tricky to figure out, and I don't like the chip damage. If we do a perfect parry, or a perfect block, if you will... Oh, we got some bandages? Is it better? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, if you do a perfect block... Oh, boy. Uh, it should negate all the damage. And like I said, I haven't quite figured out at what point I need to block yet, so let's see if we can get that there. There it is. Yeah, so if you can get a perfect parry, you won't take that chip damage. Um, but yeah. A little tricky, though. A little tricky. Right through here. Let's try the heavy attack. 169. Good enough for me. What you doing? You just, just mumbling? Okay. Woo! There we are. Easy peasy. Adzio, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Back into Nightmare World. Let's go. Hope you didn't miss too much. Uh, you've missed a basic understanding of the mechanics. We're still kind of going through the tutorial a little bit, but I think we've covered pretty much all of the mechanics at this point. Which is good, because there is kind of a lot. It's a shame there's no b actual backstab. I'm a little disappointed about that. I am a little disappointed about that. Alrighty. Do you get to make a character in this one? You sure do. If you uh, scroll on back to the beginning of the stream there, you'll see all the character options. It is uh, pretty extensive, actually. Heavy improvement over the first game in that regard, for sure. Alright. Who has my souls? Is it you? You look like you have my souls. Yeah. We'll give him back. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, come on, bigger. Oh, yeah, I was busy. Um. Did I just see a Bloodborne mechanic where you heavy attack behind them? And it opens them up for a repost? What is this nonsense? I didn't know that existed. Alright, so basically just plays like it's every FromSoft game put together is what I'm seeing. Got it. Duly noted. Alright. Plunging attack, naturally. Works pretty good. Whoops. Got another guy. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Where am I? Ah, this way. Alright, alright, alright. The enemy is so far they can push in any direction. That's cool. Dread. Prolonged periods in the Umbral makes your presence increasingly known to its inhabitants. Hooray! The longer you spend in the Umbral, the more dangerous the beings who hunt you. That's... That's good. Ah, yes. Like that guy there. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't like that. Ah! That hurts. Let 
go baseball swings. Ow. Enough of that. There we go. Oh, what's this? Mana stone clusters. Nice. Oh, yeah, I have pyromancy. <laughs> we should probably be using that. Let's see. Uh, take that. And this. All right, there we go. That does feel better. Can I sprint up ladders? Ooh, I can. Are we out of the nightmare zone yet? Switch to the lantern. Suck out your soul. And that transfers to the big thing in the way. Problem solved. You've been watching me for years, but this is the first stream you've caught. Good lord. Well, hey, glad you made it. And as you can see here, this is what the exits look like. So we just gotta touch his head. And there you go. Back to the real world, thank Christ. Let's see, where are we? Any hidden goodies over here? Any little hidden goodies? No? No hit, no goodies for lemon? Okay, that's fine. Now it says when the moths are around, that's when you can use your lantern to see stuff. Or sh you should use your lantern to kind of see things. It looks like that's just to indicate that's where we came from. Alrighty. Oh, right, there's a kick button. Kick! Stab! Alright. Very cool. Out we go. Tutorial over. Let's do it. What about invasions? I don't know. I don't know about any of the multiplayer stuff. I have not looked into it myself. And for the purposes of the stream, it is off. Alright. A little bonfire. Don't mind if I do. Twisted DM. Thank you. Eight months. Alright, we've got rest. Uh, looks like you can warp between bonfires. So that's pretty good. Uh, bonfires can also be used to beckon in other players in multiplayer. That's where the login comes from. Uh, mine is currently set to uh, offline. Let's see here. We've got all of the usual. There is no explanation for what they do. Love it. Um, strength, obviously, is going to affect your damage and apparently some defense. I wonder if every stat affects defense. That does appear to be the case. However, strength seems to give me more. Kind of interesting. All right. So maybe that's because of the armor I'm wearing. Not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Strength also is going to be one of your melee damage boosts. So that that's for certain weapons. Agility is your dexterity. Same deal. Uh, endurance appears to be your stamina and your weight capacity. So that's good. Uh, vitality is straight up just your health and also your weight capacity. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, radiance is holy damage, your wisdom, if you will. Does not appear to be affecting... Oh, wait, that increases your mana. All right. And then Inferno is uh, the fire, or magic in this game. Uh, also increases mana about, uh, by the same amount by the looks of it. Uh, however, that will boost our pyromancy skill. Hooray. Okay. So there we go. That's all of the stats. We only have enough for one, naturally. When does this release? Sometime next week, I do believe. Uh, as far as how clunky is the combat press, if you mean like just the pressing around, I would describe it as Dark Souls 2. It feels like it's slower than Dark Souls 3, slower than Bloodborne. Not as bad as the first game, Lords of the Fallen, for sure. So I would say it's probably like a Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2 kind of feel to it, uh, as far as that goes. At least for the weapon I'm currently using. Um, the daggers that I tried and the buckets and things like that, all the faster weapons did feel a little bit more... Not Bloodborne, because that, that's still too fast, but it felt better as far as speed is concerned. Denial D. Soul. Got off work and always up for a lemon stream. Hey, hey, welcome. Glad they let you give a real playthrough of their game. Yeah, me too. Me too. 
All right, well, obviously we can't put points into Vitality because, <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, what should we pump into? Inferno's already at 18. I mean, <laughs> what's our, why, why would we go for it? <laughs> All right, that works. And Rest resets the world. Not a huge fan of that right there. Not a, it's kind of weird that they chose that to kind of reset the world. Like, why would you? Because I've noticed if I don't rest, I just back out. No issues, no worries. But if I rest to reset things, this is the current stand-in for the loading. Kind of weird. Do I think I'll do a full playthrough on YouTube if I like it enough? No, I would not. Um, I don't like to ruin games for people. So this is just like an initial sneak peek to it. We're going to go a little far in there, hopefully. Uh, but after that, I will leave it up to you all to play the game and do all that. UI is atrocious. Honestly, that has been one of my biggest gripes so far, is the UI is uh, pretty rough, I feel. Um, now, granted, we're kind of used to it being a certain way. It's going to take a little bit to kind of get used to it. Uh, however, I just don't think it's quite as clean as it should be. Um, one thing I'd noticed recently, like, for example, hey, we just picked up a map, right? Like, here's uh, the journal and the map we picked up. When I press A, I can't do anything. Like, it's all, like, everything on the screen is grayed out. Kind of weird. Uh, and that goes for the map as well. Again, you think, like, I clicked the map to open the map? No, not the case. Um... For example, if I went to my inventory and went to the uh, healing item, everything is grayed out except the things you can actually do with it. Use or use several. Don't know why you'd ever use several, but whatever. So that's a thing. So I had to go into my journal. And in the journal, that's where the map is. So here it is. So it's kind of, kind of weird. I'm not sure why they did it that way. Very strange. I think... I have a feeling they're going to be doing a lot of updating to the UI as they get more player feedback, um, just to kind of smooth it out. But as of right now, it is a bit clunky. Um, so this is the map we have. I don't know where we are. I have a feeling this is basically going to be a series of find the landmarks kind of deal. Hey, look, there's Anna Orlando. <laughs> you got Anna Orlando in the middle right. You've got uh, on fire Lando in the bottom right down there. Uh, I think Sauron's in the background over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's looking good. Good good stuff. We're in for a good time. All right. Woo! The stats menu feels so empty. Does it? Yeah, it kind of does a little bit, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a weirdness to it. They're going to have to feel it out. Looks like a Disney World map. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, yeah. Oh, we're learning how to block now. Uh, block with left bumper, but beware blocking attacks. Blocking attacks withers your health. Strike enemies to restore your withered health. However, you'll lose it if it's instantly if you're struck. However, if you press left bumper just before impact, you'll receive less wither damage and deliver high posture damage. After you... Uh, you can reduce their posture damage with attacks. And there's multiple different ways of doing it. Heavy attacks, parries, kicks, all that good stuff. And then that opens them up for the repost. All right, first boss. Holy Bulwark Auto. What's up, buddy? Have you heard about the Firebomb Academy? You're about to. Haha. Nope. What are you doing? Oh, second phase, okay. <laughs> I thought he was healing and I was upset. Who needs parry when you have Fireball? Jesus, we're going to kill this guy with Pyro only. Let's do it. Nope. And that's a world first Pyromancy only kill. Challenge run complete. Thank you for all for being here. I'll be here all week. Alright. That wasn't bad. Easy peasy. I will say having played the tutorial about six times has definitely helped <laughs> get used to things. 
He was a little harder the first time I fought him. <laughs> oh, yay, real boss time. Here we go. All right. Yeah, there does seem to be some kind of buildup going on down there. You're right. I did not notice that. Uh, well, I guess don't use pyromancy too much. They said. As if I would listen. Woo! The Light Reaper. He seems nice. Haha! -ha! I think I hit him. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to win this one. Pretty sure we're not supposed to win this one, but uh, time will tell. Oh, there you are. Haha! Haha! Man really wants a lamp. Woo! What you got? Come on. Why is why is my lady groaning? Oh, oh. Pausing does not pause the game. Got it. Duly noted. Oop, and we're dead. Ah, but now we're in the umbral. Round two. Give me my health back. Oh, that's a health bar. And guys, I don't think we're supposed to beat this. Also, I think the audio is glitched out. <laughs> my, my girl is acting like she is on fire. That's that's good. There we go. Finally, end our <laughs> end our suffering. <laughs> All right. So, uh, in case you couldn't tell, that was a uh, mandatory. That was a mandatory death. I'm sure you can get something cool from beating him. We ain't doing that today. Is the health going down? I don't know. <laughs> Can you escape? No, it's a scripted death. Haha, -ha, I am reborn. Alright, let's go get our stuff back. And we've stopped moaning. That's good. Alright. Vigor recovery after death? Yep, 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 yep. Dark Souls, got it. Give that back. I do believe it is the same as Dark Souls, basically, um, well, it's Dark Souls and Bloodborne, so, or I guess just Bloodborne, where you, your souls are on the ground, you go pick them up, uh, enemies can scoop them up, so you'll have to kill the enemy to get it back, uh, and if you die, it's gone forever. Holy spirit of Bob Ross, guys, we have Bob Ross in the chat, finally caught a stream, also good morning, people. Welcome, Bob Ross, thank you for all you've done. Umbral Parasites. Umbral Parasites can symbiotically merge with other creatures, protecting them or granting enhanced power. Fun. Use the lamp to find the parasite and siphon it with right bumper. How far can I see it? Uh, pretty far away. How far can I siphon it? Also pretty far away. I'm okay with this. Boop. 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 Hey, now. What you got for me? Another map of abandoned red cops. Okay. Uh, journal. Once again, they call these maps. It's, it seems more like a landmarks that you should be hitting up, I guess. I don't know. Kind of weird. All right, not seeing a whole lot of places to go. This is about as far as I've gotten so far. See, are we going the same way as before? No, this is new. Okay, good. What you got for me? Flayed skin. Wish I hadn't picked that up. Uh, what does it do? I'm afraid to ask. Why do I have two of these? Mm-hmm. There it is. Piece of skin taken from Samuel. Oops, sorry, Samuel. Uh, okay. The day Isaac was elevated to rain. Probably the life is only about... So this is a quest item. Duly noted. Uh, that looks like a, a bad time. However, I have a feeling. Yep. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense now, doesn't it? Let's go back and see if there's anything we missed. Whoa. If this is no Ultra Great Swords, one of the first classes that start starts with a Great Sword. I don't know if there's Ultra Great Swords. I've heard tell that there is some unga bunga options so you should be fine 
But uh, yeah, this would not be a Lords of the Fallen game if there weren't <laughs> great swords. So I think you're fine. Come to me. And me to you. How do you get a backlogs helmet next to your name? Uh, yeah, that's a membership thing. Yes, indeed. You also get a bunch of emotes, uh, wallpapers. Um, I do have like one song you can download. You get a whole bunch of stuff for that. Right. Hello. I always wondered if there were others. Yeah. Probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Pretty much. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Oh. My words. Okay. I don't know who you are. Likewise. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the rogue ourselves as both. Okay. So it does have the Dark Souls thing where you need to click on them multiple times. I've defied the rules of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. And I think that's... I've defied the rules. If you okay, yeah. Alright. The audio is a little low. Uh, okay, we can fix that for you. Let's see. Settings. Uh, sound. Ah, no I cannot, because I have turned the master volume down, and if I turn down the rest of it, it'll be a whole thing. It's it's quiet for you guys. I turned it down just so it wouldn't affect the stream too much. Uh, In-game, it's perfectly fine, and very audible, so you'll be okay. Hmm, boy. Okay. Voice acting seems good. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Oh, hey, bonfire. There we go. Can we upgrade character? Question mark? No. We are too low. Okay, that's fine. David, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, for those asking about the wallpapers thing like that, uh, basically, if you go to the actual YouTube channel, go to the community tab, and look for members only posts, there should be a link to all of the goodies right there. I think it's the only members post I've ever made, so it should be very easy to find. And, uh, yeah. Go from there. Have fun. Alrighty. Fragments of past events, often traumatic, well, at least they give us some warning, uh, can appear if we use our lamp and hold X to transition to the umbral. Then lock onto the stigma with the right stick, select it, and soul flay it, naturally. Okay. Sure, let's get some trauma going. Sentinels, to the crypt! Fall back! Fall back! No, wait! Where are you going? Help us! Bun! Wow, so, so, um, uh, we, we won't be doing that too often. Yeah, we'll be doing that plenty, I'm sure. Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, the Fireball? You should. It's a good time. Here, have another! There we go. If I can find something that regenerates mana, we're golden. Stabby. 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 I'd also really like a new weapon. Uh, not a huge fan of this spear. Let's actually switch up to something that might be a little faster? Question mark? What's this? Fire ward. I guess what that does. Probably water, water defense, right? Protects you from water damage. <laughs> All right. That's a little better. I do like that a bit better. What you got going on here? No, no. All right. What's the de oh parry time on this is actually pretty good. Oh God. Okay. Uh, heal it up, and uh, yeah, no fireball. Everyone gets a fireball. And you get a fireball. And you get a fireball. And you get a fireball. I've got fireballs for days. It's oh, it costs stamina to just, just fireball. Ow. One more for you. What the hell? You getting up? Alright. What is this? Oh, that's just the thing I already. Okay. Ow. Ow! Okay, parry timing is very hard. 
Not used to the weapon yet. We'll get there. Where are you just spawning in? Is this the hunting mechanic? Is that what this is? Is this where if I spend too long in here, I'm gonna get all sorts of problems? Point and stick! What's a point and stick do? <gasps> it's an axe. No, it's not. What is it? A spear? Uh... Sure, why not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll stick with the axe for now. Alright. Ah! Here's how we get out of here. Thank God. Dobby is free! <laughs> Run away! Let's see here. So this got us somewhere else. Ah, oh, man, I'm getting all turned around. That's okay. You know how it be. What's this? Alright. That's just happening over there, I guess. Ooh, 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 wee. ooh, slow down there. Have some fireball. All right, two I can manage. Aha! All right, now we're talking. What you got for me? Corrupted penitent loincloth. Sounds fun. Nope, I'm the guy that does pyromancy. Thank you. Mana stone clusters, I imagine that is to regenerate mana. Useful. I have eight of them. I don't know what Wither Ward or any of this other stuff is, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. Enemy hidden enemies? No? Okay, good. I do have this guy. Oop, and someone else casting fireballs over there. Get rid of you. What happened there? <laughs> I blocked it, but then I think I got hit from something over there. Oh, right, second wind. Parry! There we go. There we go. Broken sword? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! All right, somebody go tell Zero Lenny. <laughs> no! Oh, wow, it's so fast! Oh, no! <laughs> I might actually like this. Oh, you've got one of those things. Hold on a minute. Uh, we need lantern. Let's absorb the hell out of that thing. There we go. And you know what? Fuck it. Rip your soul out. There we go. Give me the old stabberino. Oh, it did pretty decent damage. Alright, who's... Oh, there's another Pyromancy up there. That's why. Let's... Let's, uh, let's get to our own advantage here. Home team advantage. Um... Who the hell is that? Oh, God. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Oh, good, you came down. It's fine. Another Pyromancer? Hey, you. I'm about to die. Aha! Barry! Whew. I'm not sure if he killed me or if that guy killed me. Somebody killed me. Damn. How late are you? Um, about an hour. You're about an hour off. Oh my god, the broken sword is actually good. I don't know if it's actually good. It's just very fast. How long are we streaming for? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. We will see. I lost all my souls. I gotta go get those. Hopefully they are not stuck in the umbral world. That'd be a bummer. I don't really want to go back. If I can avoid it. Yee, yee. Man, alright. So they... One thing I will say. The, uh, the lunging of enemies. A lot farther than you'd think. Haha, -ha, Barry. Oh, no, it's super good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
<laughs> it has actual parry. Oh. Well. I think we found our weapon of choice. I hate to say it. Until we find something else. Oh, we've been picking up some armor stuff too. Hold on a minute. That is better. A little heavier. Ugh. Cool. Yeah, I know. Good look. We're looking good, kiddo. Uh, these are good against resistance, but not good for actual defense. Okay. Holy shit. Can you parry fireball? Somehow I doubt it. We'll try. But I'm gonna give that the old... Probably not. Okay. I'm a huge fan of how much damage we're taking. I would love to have a shield of some kind. But it looks like we do get iframes when we do a repost. So that's good. Parry the fireball. Oh, you can block it. All right. So kind of. All right. Jesus Christ. This would happen. <laughs> oh no! It's so good. <laughs> oh, that's upsetting. Oh no! Ob, thank you so much. Oh God. Okay. Well. Yep. This is happening now. Broken dagger stream. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Somebody give me another one. I want it too. Ow, that hurt. For that, you get all, you get the stabs. You get all the stabs. All right, I have, I have like more wooden crosses than I know what to deal with. Out of curiosity, can I, can I two hand? No. Okay, so it seems to be. Wait, hold on a minute. What's happening here? I can do wield. It's using the axe's parry, which is awful in comparison. Um, what happens to that? Oh, that's my fist. So fist and dagger. Interesting. Man, okay, this is weird. I can two-hand this. It's a little slower on the parry time. We're, le we're learning, we're learning. We're learning a lot here. Aha! Give me my health back. Oh, that was almost really bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's the guy that's got my souls. I'm almost dead. We're gonna safely get those souls back real quick. And then, uh, probably go back and level up a little bit. Okay. Just give me my souls back. Thank you. Now run like hell. This is going to turn into a very silly playthrough, I can tell already. How do I get home? Here we go. Whew. All right. Upgrade character. Yes, please. How's it running? Uh, it's running fine, as far as I can tell. There's like occasional little spikes of lag. Um, maybe once every five minutes. Um, and that seems to be only when I enter like a new area. So it's not been too bad. Let's see. This, wow, would increase my damage by a whole whopping one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, more pyromancy. There we go. And I will rest. What is what bar about? Oh, the pyro bar? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We haven't seen it go all the way. I'm wondering if it sets you on fire. I'm wondering if that's like a, hey, you can set yourself on fire. Because I've noticed that when I get hit with pyromancy, that also happens. So I'm kind of wondering if that's the case. Alright. So while I really like the sword for the parry ability, it is terrible when it comes to uh, actual damage. So we need to fix that for sure. What the hell? Oh, I bounced off a wall? Okay. Hey now. What a mess. 
Okay. Well, there better be a shop where I can sell these damn things, because holy hell. <laughs> a man can only carry so many crosses. All right. Who wants some? Who wants some lemon? Well. <laughs> high risk, high reward. How's the parry timing feeling? Um, well, it's different for every weapon so far, which is kind of weird. Oh, I can just come on back. Yes, please. There we go. I wonder, does that give me my, like, my second health back? I wonder if that means I now have two lives again, now that I've gotten out of the umbral. I think it does. Uh, but yeah, the parry timing feels pretty good, though, at least with this one. Uh, with other weapons, it has not felt good. Uh, I think that's intentional, though. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. Aha! Okay. So what are we looking at here? We got that pyromancer up there. There's a body with an item up there. If we can kind of... Ow. If we can just... Oh, for fuck's sake. A lot of enemies out here. Shit. I was gonna say, if we can kind of work it so we can fight the enemies without getting blasted by the pyromancer, that'd be good. How far is my range with this thing? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Pyromancy is a long-range weapon. Duly noted. Next. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Alright, well, doesn't matter now. I also like that the parry or er, repost does knock them back a bit. Gives you a little breathing room. Partial parry. Ugh, I like that attack. Oh, the Pyromancer has found us. Run away. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that I have to go collect the souls myself. Kind of a weird choice there. How much? Oh, yeah, you've got the thing, don't you? It's going to be a little hard to fight with two of you. Let's see if I can do something about that. Let's see if we can fix that problem, shall we? Hello there. Have you heard of Broken Sword? Alright. There's your little buddy. Why can't I focus on him? Kind of weird. There, just do that. There we go, that's better. And there we go. Area cleared. Nice. Uh, just, can I focus on that? I can. What do we get? Pilgrim garb, pilgrim skirt. Interesting choices, what do we got? Uh, good for holy defense. That's fun. Simple defense for that, too. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Can go pro with an arm like that? For sure. For sure. Alright. I think we've cleared out the... Uh, he says as he finds a new item. Ammunition pouch times two. What's that? Uh, comes to be... Okay, so like if you were using something that actually had ammunition, like the rock, um, that would just give you some ammunition back. Got it. Good to know. Makes sense, considering there's mana recharge. You'd want to have a way to recharge your ammunition as well. Is this a door? It does not appear to be. Okay. There's this, this fucking guy. How much do you like pyromancy? A lot? How much is a lot? What's happening? Ooh, you like pirates more than I do. I want that. Oh, it hurts. 
What? No. All of my no. Ah. Uh, oh, that looks like anyone else getting some, uh, some Lords of the Fallen 1 flashbacks? Backstab. 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 Ooh. Ah, uh, yep. That'll do. Aw, no pyromancy poo. <laughs> I was hoping for an item. It did look like he gave us a lot of stuff, though. Maybe a sneak peek into some of the uh, pyromancies we might get later? Question mark? Love the quick healing animations? Yeah, no, those feel good. I am a fan of that, for sure. No getting killed in the middle of Estus drinking. Which is nice. I'm hearing scary noises. Is this an instance where... Oh, okay. That's what it's all about. It's a way out of the umbral. Oh, hello. How are we doing this fine day? Alright. Okay, so... Not, uh, no complaints about the quick weapon pa- Ooh, wow, uh, that was some lag right there. Holy shit. That was not your stream, that is- that was happening in-game. Well, I was about to say I really like the, uh, the quick parries. The buckler parry window, if you will. Feels really good. Got a little bit of... A little bit of lag happening in these new areas. Not sure what that's about. That guy looks a little beefy. Let's see if there's something else to do before we go fight him and lose all our souls. There's a lot of places to go. Aha! Yes, please. Vestige of Marco the Axe. Hey, I think I saw him. Alright, let's go. Check the Shadow World. We will. We will. One thing at a time. Alright. I feel like Pyromancy is doing us a fine job. Kind of wonder if I can get my hands on some daggers. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, we haven't seen anything like that yet, so I'm not sure. Let's go. Let's go health. I hate to say it, but let's let's do it. Let's see how significant the health boost is. It says it's 20. I have no frame of reference for how big that actually is. Guess we'll find out. Oh, see some moths. Hold on. Moths mean something. What is this? Oh, I have to go to uh, Shadow World to do that. Okay. The gate does not budge. Alright. I think I understand what's going to happen here. Should we go to Shadow World here? Or should we go see what was going on with Axie Boy? Let's go Shadow World for now. What are we playing on? We're playing on PC. Yeah. I'm sure the consoles is a bit more stable, but uh, I'm a PC player, so that's just uh, the way it go. All right, what are we looking at here? What is this? Just yank it down a little more, I guess. Okay. All right. Spooktastic. I'll take my health back now, thank you. Thanks, I hate it. Got a Umbral Eye of the Betrayed Iliard. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yay, some trauma there, too. Let me deal with all this real quick. Hold on a minute. There. Easy. Alright. Show me the trauma. Let's go. Someone! Help me, please! Hmm. A little bit of a necromancy magic going on here, by the looks of it. Looks like it's going well for him. Very good. Humble scouring has increased. What does that mean? Okay. Check those items later when I'm not feeling 
hunted. Alrighty. Where am I? That's the way out. We found that earlier. I think. Was that really it? That we all we needed to find in here? <laughs> I kind of feel bad that we're using the broken sword because this isn't like representative <laughs> of how much damage you do to enemies. But uh, goddamn, I love the parry. So not much I can really do about that. You're watching the backlogs, though. You knew. You knew this was going to happen. All right, let's get out of the Umbral world. I feel like we'll do ourselves better if we're not in here right now. We cleared one of the... Uh, we cleared what might have been a block, so... And I like having the ability to die at least once. Okay, let's see. So that guy's still there doing his thing. Gate appears to still be closed, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Make sure this isn't... Oh, that's back again. So that was just a way to get down. Weird. You know, we did pick up some stuff. Hold on, let's see what we got. Uh, all this nonsense that we don't care about just yet. Uh... Ah, see, that's why I like this so much. It's it's harder. It's technically a dagger. <laughs> that's why. That explains it. All right, what do we find? The map, the journal, late skin, umbral scourings. Taken from the umbral stigma could be traded. Okay, good to know. Uh, umbral eyes, main socket effect, plus one soul flay charge, plus fifteen percent dread resistance, or healing efficiency during the umbral. So I can jam that into a weapon then, I guess, by the looks of it. Oh, that's a lot of tutorials. And yeah, that's everything. Jesus. Okay. Good to know. Probably useful. Oh, well, there's Axie Boy. Why don't uh, you and I have a little chit chat, just you and I, huh? Yeah, that's the spirit. Oop. Oop. Hmm. Ah, so you're not so bad. You're not so bad. I am out of heels. <laughs> the, the panic. <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. No, not that. Give me the pyromancy. There we go. Mine owner's ring. Ooh. An old tarnished ring increases maximum stamina and stamina regen. Yoink. Well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. That was nice and early. All right, what do we got going on here? Is this something I can actually fiddle with? No. Probably uh, got to go to the other side, if I had to guess. My favorite. Long walks in the deep water. Oh, uh, oh, 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 that's killing me. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I am seeing, I am seeing. Interesting. There we go. What we got here? More ammunition? A large mana stone cluster that I don't really need that much, it seems. Okay. And pilgrim stuff. That's the rest of that outfit. Oh my god. Hello. Uh I think you're looking for Zero Lenny. I'll, I'll go get him. Is this a ladder? It is a ladder. <laughs> okay. Oh hello. Marshall Perry. Stamina for days. All right. 
Uh, that is a way out. Thank God. And also, a thing to kick. Shortcut unlocked! I did it! I won! Um, oh, hello. Yeah, you would. Alright, well, in the light of this, I'm going to leave. But after throwing fireball. <laughs> Alright, nailed it. Take me home. Alright. We're fine. Everything's fine. I have no healing. We're fine. Where are you going? Where are you going? You can't escape the broken sword. You fool. Alright, what, what are we looking at here? I was here earlier. That's the water I trudged through. Okay, okay. Picking it up, putting it down. He said the thing. That's right. Holy wards, okay. Get a little bit of, little bit of kick back there from the game there. Is that the friendly dude, or is that a boss? I can't quite tell. Also, is there something up here? Nope, that's just a way back. Okay. Alright. Friendly? He appears to be friendly. He appears to be friendly. Hello. You carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat. Over and over. Uh -huh. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself, should you fall, make use of this. The Stige Seed, huh? Your umbral lamp vibrates and emits a special color when close to an umbral flower bed. When positioned on the umbral flower bed, select your umbral lamp, raise it with left trigger, hold Y to grow the seedling. Serves as a point of revival should you die. Oh! Interesting. It's like this thing right here. Oh, you can make bonfires. Yay, achievement. Interesting. What does interacting with it do? Oh, wow. They work both uh, front and back. All right, cool. That's uh, I'm down for that. I am down for that. His hand isn't looking too good. Yeah, it looks like it could use a little help. All right, more health. Because I don't have a weapon that uses <laughs> stats. <laughs> so... You know, uh, I will rest as well because we're far enough. Again, not a huge fan of the loading screen. Kind of weird, but uh, whatever. So, any good so far? It has been. Let, let's tell uh, yeah. Let's give a quick recap. Um, up to this point, the the way I feel about it, uh, graphics obviously very pretty, seem pretty good. I wouldn't complain about them in any stretch of the imagination. This is coming from me, of course. I am not a uh, graphics aficionado, but, uh, looks fine. I have no complaints about it. Um, what else? The mechanics themselves are, there's quite a few of them. I don't think I'm using them all, but it seems okay. It's not overwhelming. Uh, I've only been playing this game for about two hours, one hour just to kind of get used to it before stream, and now about an hour and a half during the stream. I'm not overwhelmed and that says a lot because I tend to get overwhelmed by mechanics pretty quick so that's good uh, combat itself is a it's got the Lords of the Fallen kind of clunky feel nowhere near as bad as the first game but it's not Bloodborne it's not Dark Souls 3 it's not Elden Ring I would not expect that level of speed uh, as you can see we've been running around with a uh, <laughs> quote-unquote dagger um, and it's been working for me. I like how fast it attacks. This is honestly how quick I wish the sword and stuff attacked. Um, heavier weapons such as the axe have a bit more weight to them, which is fine. But for my play style, it's just not, not how I like to play. Um, parry stuff, blocking stuff. I've played with the shields before. Blocking feels better with those. 
as far as parrying is concerned or perfect blocking, um, it depends on the weapon. Some weapons you just will never do it because it's such a like clunky movement. Uh, however, with things like the daggers, high risk, high reward. If you miss the parry, you're going to take half of your health and damage. But if you get it, it's like an automatic guaranteed um, break their stamina, stab them in the, for the repose kind of deal. Uh, it also seems to be a lot quicker, which I really appreciate. So, all right. That's, uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, other than that, uh, dialogue so far, I've only seen like five lines. Seems fine so far. Voice acting is fine. Audio is good. Um, pretty atmospheric. The umbral mechanic is cool. The umbral mechanic is pretty cool. Uh, not like my super favorite thing. It's just a little too dark and gritty, but it's it's fine. You know, it's, it sets it aside from Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all that other nonsense. Um, but uh, the UI, though. UI is not uh, not good. I do not like the UI. Um, really needs some work. Both between, like, I mean, like, even this alone. Like, you just see the talk A. I, I, honestly, I would prefer they did like Dark Souls does, where it's just on the bottom of your screen, as opposed to this, like, moves with the camera kind of deal. Not really a fan of that. And then this whole thing, this this UI here, all of this, this needs some work. I'm not a huge fan. Um, seems a little uh, disorganized, almost, and just kind of plain in certain aspects. It's weird. I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is off. So... Uh, yeah, I'm sure other people will have a better opinion of that. People that have like more research in that kind of regard will be able to talk more about that. But for me, it's just like I look at it and go, eh, I don't know. So, how's the performance? Uh, performance seems to be okay. I am playing on a PC. I'm playing with a 4090, uh, I think like an i9, I want to say. So, pretty top of the line machine. I think I have everything set to max. It seems to be doing fine. Um, occasionally I'm noticing some lag when I enter new areas, so that's kind of not good. Uh, again, that should be a game issue, not my computer issue, so there's that. Um, but they are working on that. Even as of yesterday, they were throwing out patches to kind of help with P certain PC builds and such, so I'm imagining by next week, hopefully this will be much more stable. Uh, but as of right now, there's that's the little bit of lag I'm seeing so far. So, game seems rushed, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know about rushed. I mean, it, they've got some pretty developed mechanics, I would say. Uh, but we've only started the game. Like, you know, we've only played for about an hour. Oh, well, thank you. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. Cool. So, best friends, then? I've given you more from now on. <laughs> All right, cool, great, thanks. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You need the Skyrest bridge key to open this door. Duly noted. Yeah, world exploration feels fine. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely Lords of the Fallen. I think is the way to go. It's Lords of the Fallen. If it was the next generation, still got some of that Lords of the Fallen clunk to it, for sure. Uh. But it's not nearly as bad as that one was. <laughs> having having recently played it... Oh, what's going on up there? Having recently played the original Lords of the Fallen, um, that game hurts to play. Like, it makes you nauseous the way the camera runs. This is not that. So... What? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't want anything to do with this. Ooh, no. Have sword. Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's press further. Let's see what we uh, let's see what we got going on. Haha! Personal. Lock. What's happening? Ooh, it hurts. Wow. Okay. Uh, got picked off by an axe guy that came out of nowhere. I am reborn. Which is to say, fuck you. No, stop pulling out the lantern. I don't want the lantern. Iron Man. Iron Man's here. Iron Man's here. Run away. Ah. Right, you get out of here. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. And you. There we go. 
Is this a thing? Is it a thing? Fire salts? Alright then. Well, chat, if you see a way out of the umbral, let me know. Would like to leave. That screams boss arena if I've ever seen one. Hold on a minute. We'll come back to that. Is the deluxe worth it? I don't know what the deluxe offers. I haven't seen any of that yet. Personally, I'm the wrong guy to ask about that. I am very much a fan of buying standard editions only and then buying add-ons if I find a game worth it after playing it. Um, and I never pre-order anything because uh, why would I pay for something that it doesn't exist yet? So, so yeah, I don't know about that whole thing. Wrong guy to ask. Okay, so those are just birthing dudes left and right. That's fun. Doesn't open from the side. Okay. This is all fire, but there's an item in there. Well, you know what this means. Get in there. Rusty cutter. <gasps> it's a dagger of some kind. Wait, wait. We have a slightly more dagger dagger. I can't use it. Why? Uh, I don't have time to look at this right now. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> we have a goal. <laughs> we have a goal. A weapon has been given to us. How do I get out of here? I want to leave. Ah. There we go. Does this work? Can I... If I rest, does it take me back to being... Oh, it does. Thank God. Okay. All right. We've got a second. How does this work? What is going on here? It's a short sword. Boo. Attack power is 90. Double what we're working with. Has some fire damage to it. Okay. Oh, my strength is too low. My strength is not 11. My strength is 9. Can I still wield it anyway? Just to play around with it? I can. Huh. All right. So short sword damage. Um, or not damage, but uh, speed. Seems to be pretty good. Perry is a little slower. Just a little bit. It's not really noticeable, but it is there. Sword and dagger go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alright. So, maybe not. I thought it was a dagger. It is a short sword. Uh, it seems to be pretty good, though. We'll probably give that the time of day. I can put a few points into strength. That's fine. All right, the dog. Haha! -ha. Joke's on you. I would like a weapon that can actually do damage, though. Like, without parrying. Would be cool. Hello, doggy. Okay, my turn. Ooh. Where do I get that pyromancy? I want that. <laughs> I tried to parry all of those, and that did not work out. <laughs> that was a big nope. Aha! Aha! There we go. Eat dagger. Oh, you have a lot of health. Please hold. Yeah, you buff, I'll buff. It's only fair. Ow. Ow. Ha ha. Gotcha. Whew. Those guys be tricky. Alright, let's see. What did we not do over here? That door is closed. We couldn't do it. We got the rusty dagger. Grab this soul here. Uh, I guess we have to go into the presumable boss arena, huh? Okay, hold on. Going back again. Gotta do it with the full health bar. <laughs> Alright. So, perfect parry staggers? Yes. Uh, or rather, perfect parry does a lot of stamina damage, and if you break the stamina then you can repost. 
Um, apparently you can also use like heavy attacks to reduce their stamina or kicks. Both of those will do. So a bit of Dark Souls 3, if you will. But, uh, but yeah. But Perfect Parries does a good job of it, for sure. Lies appear this? No idea. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path Elite Night Armor? Hello. For my wayward brothers and sisters. Ugh. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even so I'm just standing over here. <laughs> I honored my pledge of patience to the exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger. Can I have your armor and weapon? I want it. Holy shit. A betrayal made flesh. And one I cannot brook. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you said. That's why I was staring at your sword, I'm sorry. Pieta, she of blessed renewal. Alright. Parry! Parry oh god. Well, I did a lot of parry damage to her. Hurts. Kind of need a big shield, though. Does the game have no backstab? It does have a backstab. Um, or rather, if you get behind them and do like a strong R2, it seems to do a lot of stamina damage. Haha, uh -huh, parry. Ow. So she's got holy damage, for sure. Oh, God! Okay. <laughs> So I'm sensing that the parry strat is not, uh, not the strat here. <laughs> Did I make a glass canyon? No, I've actually put like two levels into le into health so far. <laughs> she sold the game for you. Well, there you go. <laughs> when you know what you like, you know what you like. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get rid of that. Adds fire damage to the weapon. Oh, I have not been using these. Um, adds holy damage to the weapon. I thought those were for defense. Those are not for defense. Those are for damage. Okay. This one... Oh, I thought it was... I thought it was uh, unlimited for a second there because it has no one next to it. But it appears that anything I only have one of... Only, uh... Just kind of does it that way, right? Because there's no way... There's no way that I have an th unlimited burn status. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Right? Surely not. What's this? Countless people have said... Da, da, da. Well, shit. I guess one way to find out. Oh, no. There it is. There's the one. Okay, so again, another UI issue of, like, look, twos and threes. This is one. To tell me that this isn't an unlimited item, like this one... What is this? Used to travel the most recently in exchange for a sacrifice of vigor. So that's like a homeward bone, but... Yeah, I, when they give you the number like that, that makes me assume that you only get one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's just a one-off. All right, anyway, uh, we need to figure out a build that works here. Um, and the <laughs> dagger, as much as I love it, it's probably not going to work for us. So let's go with the axe, I guess. Phantom of Time. I don't know that Latin, but I'm glad you're getting vibes. All right, so yeah, so we'll do some pyromancy. We'll do some actual weapon damage. What was that? Beckon. Oh, a little bit of summoning action going on here, probably for my uh, my dude, because we're currently in offline. So that's not uh, that's not that interesting. All right, so there's some co-op, some offline co-ops. That's good. Oh, you can watch the whole thing again, huh? That's a weird choice. Nope. Nope, don't want to. Just here to get my vigor. Thanks. How much is in there? Oh, 1200. Oh my god, why? Jesus Christ. Alright, so, uh, holy defense. Hmm. Alright. Well, the dodging works. I might do it right. Ooh, okay, okay. What up, girl? Ow. There we go. Go 
Good. Uh, that was my fault. There we go. Uh, oh, heavy damage in there. Woo. Nope. So is the stamina... There's a circle around her lock on. Ow. Um, I think if that depletes is when we get our repost. Hmm. Okay. Does the gameplay feel smooth? It feels pretty good. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Hopefully she doesn't have a phase two. Oh, we both know she's gonna have a phase two. Use the fireballs? Well, we should use the fireballs, yes. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do. Fuck it, go for broke, let's go. Fireballs. Fireballs, parries, let's do it. We got this. There's always a phase two, yeah. Souls-like? Nah, there's gonna be a phase two. Skip that, okay, ooh. Just gotta get good at the dodge, I think. Damage, 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 haha. Uh haha, -huh. uh -huh. oh, got greedy, my bad. Cute. Mind the stamina. Mind the stamina. Oop, she's got three. Oop, she's got four. <laughs> All right, good to know. One, two. Give me the heavy. All right. One. One. Two. I oh, should parry damage there. Ah, uh, oh, I goofed it. Okay. Okay. Well, the dodging works fine. And he quick heal is very much appreciated. Let's see if I can. Ah, I got greedy again. And collecting your souls takes a lot of time. Oh God, it hurts. All right. So sometimes she sticks there, and other times she does not. Okay. Is this phase two? What is this? Uh, yep, that's phase two. <laughs> Safe bet. <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's um. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So so far, uh, main problem I'm having is that uh, we did not pick the dagger class. The actual dagger class as my starting class. I have a feeling if we had an actual dagger, we'd be doing a significantly more damage. That said, the dodging feels good. We're going to put this burn salts on our hotbar. I'm curious to see how good the stamina or uh, status damage is in this game. We're going to figure that out, see if that helps. But yeah, we're kind of... It kind of sucks that we're not working with a real weapon. Yes, I will try Pyromancies. She's just... She, she's fast. I'm worried about it. All right, all right, here. Pyromancy, you happy? That is significant damage. Okay. <laughs> but she does have a very long sword, which I'm a little worried about. Phantom! Whoa! When you want a Warhammer character in your Souls-like game? Probably. All right. No fire Salt, I think, is what I just used. Yep. Ow. I'm fine. I'm fine. Here, have fire. Well, uh, seems like it did more damage than usual. So we got that going for us, I guess. Lasts a long time, too. Uh, I'm just getting greedy now. Yeah, the, the dodge feels fine. Honestly, the dodge window is really good. And honestly, 
this fire weapon is uh, lasting a very long time. Like, generously so, in comparison to Souls games. I am here for that. Yeah, that's phase two. Alright, well. Prepare for death. Aha, dodged. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? Alright, there goes the... There goes the status weapon. That's gone now. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> Alright. You asked for it. You're getting pyromancy. Hope you're ready. Ah, Jesus. Things got some range. Hmm. Okay. The gameplay looks kind of clunky. It doesn't feel bad. It does look it, but it feels responsive, if that makes any sense. Maybe I'm just adapted to it by now. Um... As I've described earlier, this is not Dark Souls 3 Bloodborne levels of speed that you have to think about. It's more like Dark Souls 2. But it's not as clunky. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't feel bad. Like I said, the dodging feels fine, honestly. Like doing that, super responsive. And I'm not having any issues with that if I'm not being greedy. So, dodging is pretty easy, actually. Which is good. It's cool. Fan of that. Um, wish I had an actual weapon. I guess we could take out the dagger. Or, uh, the axe. But, what I would give for some real daggers. They attack so fast, and there's two of them. It's so nice. Nope, don't want that. Okay. Run? Oh, I can. Alright. Ah, I did it again. Keep doing it. Keep getting very, uh... Keep getting aggressive. Right, you just get fireballs. From downtown! <laughs> I don't know if that actually hit her. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> can I hit you while you're flying around? I can. Alright, good. Oh, that laser attack, man. Haven't quite figured out the timing on that one. <laughs> Why is my rage pyramids are not doing a lot of damage up close? Well, to be fair, we're not even using a right, the right dagger. This thing is broken. But, uh, yeah. Shows what the beckon thingy does. What beckon thingy? Do I have a better weapon? I don't want to start over, but we might have to speedrun to this point. <laughs> if this keeps going. Hmm. Let's see. I guess the regular old cultist staff will do. Surely, right? The fireballs did zero damage when she stayed changed. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, just getting greedy for the most part. Start over where we want to see more classes. That could be an option, honestly. That could be a thing. Yeah, let's try... Since we're not going for parries. We're not supposed to fight her. I have a feeling we are. I think we're just not using a good weapon. Right, let's see. Real weapon does about... 40 damage? 60 on the uh, second hit? It's not... Is that better than uh, what we were doing? I think so. It's not terrible. Not great. kind of wonder if I missed a blacksmith or something at this point. 
I remember seeing in the Discord that some people were saying that the blacksmith was, um, like, allegedly kind of easy to miss. But we also haven't gotten any upgrade materials, so maybe not. Huzzah! There we go. Nope. I wonder... I wonder if a heavy attack from an actual weapon would do... better. Stamina damage. Uh, yep. Definitely more. Nick, thank you so much. The game doesn't feel generous with its leveling. Ooh. Wait. Oh, really? I break your poise and you turn this little phase two? Boo. Yeah, it does seem like we've only leveled up, like, what, three times? Four, maybe? Jesus. Aha! I figured it out. Now, if only I could parry the damn things. <laughs> I will parry you. Parry! <laughs> St hanging in there. Ooh. Uh oh, that's a grab. Mm. <laughs> <Poor substitute. sighs> Damn. Well, that was a thing. Uh, hmm. All right. Chat. Got a question for you. We're obviously struggling. I'll give the pyromancy itself just another try, just to kind of, you know, like, do that. But I have a feeling this class just isn't for me. And, you know, and we all know how important that is with a Souls game. You have to uh, kind of get a class that feels right in the beginning, otherwise the entire experience feels icky. So, might be worth restarting with, like you said, lift the daggers there. How far in is this? Uh, we're about an hour or two. I think we've killed two bosses, I want to say. Let's try... Oh, yeah, we should summon. You're right, yeah, we'll give that a try, too. Um, first things first, I'm going to try just Pyromancy. See how that fares for us. See if a ranged attack build is uh, more viable. So far, the answer seems to be yes. I just wanted to play some melee. Ow! Forgot about that. <laughs> I just wanted to use the melee. It feels good to be up close and hitting things. This feels fine too. <laughs> Ow. Take your lumps. Just getting all wonky over there. Just doing some shit. Just freaking me out. Nope. We gotta watch our stamina, because throwing fireballs does cost stamina. <laughs> this does appear to be working, though. Alright. Uh, we need... Mana charge. What does this do? Uh. Ah, it's a slow regen. Cool, cool, cool. Ow. What are you doing? Freaking me out. <laughs> nope. 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 All my nope. Oh, the grab. Well, good news is we're still here. Bad news is we're clinging on. Okay, we touched it that time. Getting there. All right. Getting it. Ooh, what the? 
No, don't use that. <laughs> Stop shaking it. <laughs> Mana crystal. All right. All right. You're getting a little, uh, a little intense here. Not gonna lie, I am liking the ranged option. Just a little easier to avoid attacks, for sure. Timing's a little wonkier, but that's okay. Alright, we're just gonna do that, that's fine. From downtown! Why am I in the zone? Got about a quarter left here. Ah, there we go. Well, shit, if this is all she's got left, then I think we got this. She would stand still. Oh, I forgot about the thing. Oh, damn it. Dang it. 10 minute boss fight. Yeah, I don't know. She's got a lot of health. Dang. Alright, well, not the worst. Not the worst. Summon? Yes, we will test the summon. We will give that a go, see how helpful that is. I am kind of itching to try a different class. Like, even just like the sword and board would be nice, because then I can try parrying and stuff with a lot less risk. I think that might be like just the right way to play, but we'll see. Uh, yes, Iron Wayfarer. Hey, can you help me out, dude? We're struggle busting here. Pilgrim armor. That that would be a good one as well. Did he not? <laughs> Did he just give me the nope? <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, let's get the pilgrim stuff going. Good call on that one. So is he just not gonna? Really? Did I just get ghosted? <laughs> Maybe he pops up. Yeah, skip the thing. Skip the thing. There we go. Just remember, hey, there he is. In the end, you're better off alone. And he's doing uh, decent damage. How about me? Um, uh, can't quite tell because he's hitting her too. Uh, no, I'm doing the same amount of damage as I did before. Interesting. So they don't reduce your damage for co-op. And she doesn't appear to have less health, or more health, rather. Help me out, Iron Daddy. <laughs> Alright, so summon good. But is summon good against phase two? That is the question. I keep hitting fucking swords here. He's, he's definitely keeping her off of me for sure. We got much health left though. Oh, there he goes. Oh, what happened there? Hold on now. Nope, not a fan of that, thank you. Oh, yeah, that felt good. Okay. Oh, somehow switched to my lantern. Don't know how I panicked did that. Uh oh. Mm. 
Oh, oh, I tried to heal and that didn't work out. Okay. We're okay. We're still good. Still good. Uh, of course I went to the one side that had the both. Okay. Let's see. Take your lumps. Ow. <laughs> Almost there. Come on. Come on. From downtown! <laughs> Fucking got her. Uh, grab this figure here real quick. What's happening here? You dead? Nah, you dead. Whew. Is that my character? I can't tell. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and third phase? Maybe. That's some weird... Like, claymation looking animation there. What the heck? I assume that's intentional. But it's very, like... You guys are seeing that too, right? What is this, though? She turned into goo! Oop. Okay, there you are. Are you better now? Worse now? Not quite sure. <laughs> Phase three. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not ew claymation, it, but it, it was off putting. Considering that the rest of the game is not claymation? Oh, okay, she just, uh... Yeah, sure, whatever. I got a vestige seed, got some umbral scouting or whatever. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe this little bit of trauma here will tell us what's going on. Brothers and sisters, you honor us and all who came before Thanks, Phantom. you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. Hmm. Alright. Doing some stuff there. I got, uh... I got something else there. A remembrance. Well, I gotta figure out what all this is. Uh, first things first. The vestige seed. A small, seemingly petrified figure. Plant in a fitting location to create a vestige seedling. Okay. I do not have enough holy <laughs> to uh, gain further insight, apparently. Apparently, my stats indicate uh, which... what I know. That's interesting. Interesting choice. Uh, what else did we pick up here? This remembrance thing. I'm assuming this is a quest item. Here it is. Increase your readings to gain further insight. It's a golden pin. Awesome. Can I go through here? No? Alright. Where do I go? Oh, nope. They're, they're spawning in. Oh boy. Okay. So yeah. Uh, summon helped. Pyromancy is good so long as you have the space to use it. Uh, yeah. Kind of boring, if I'm being honest. The whole just hammering away at the same spell over and over again. Not my favorite, but that's okay. I have a feeling this way is now open. Alright. Uh, let's pump the strength so we can use a sword. I'm gonna rest. Is there archery? Yes, there is. Uh, there is a class that starts with an archery weapon. Let's put the sword out. There we go. That's better. What's this? Okay. Guess this is not the way I was going to go. That's fine. Whatever. I didn't want to go that way anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, as far as opinion goes. Um, I see people in chat saying that it's Seventy dollars. I would not pay $70 for this. I would 
50 would be okay. Um, if it goes on sale, I would absolutely consider that, but is this where I can plant the vestige? Yes, indeed. I think this is important, so I'm going to do it. I can warp now. That's cool. Ah, that's where we need to go. Yeah, so I don't know if I'd pay a full $70 for this, but uh, it's been fine, though. If you're really itching for a Souls experience, then this might be for you. As someone who hasn't played... Oh, God. As someone who hasn't played... Uh, played... Lies of P yet, I don't know how b well that scratches the itch, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an option, I suppose. Like I said, still kind of figuring it out. But it feels... It feels like Dark Souls 2. I'm getting Dark Souls 2 vibes, essentially. It's sixty dollars for the base game and seventy for the deluxe. Okay, yeah. So uh, regular edition, I think, would be okay. If you're if you're seeing this and you're like really excited, and you're like, oh, this is like totally my vibe. Then yeah, regular amount of money is fine. <laughs> Dark Souls too, so it's really that good, huh, Andy? <laughs> it is. It is fine. Uh, the dodging feels good. The combat itself is a little. Low, but in that Lords of the Fallen way, so I'm not surprised. Uh, like I said, also like Dark Souls 2, where it's just kind of a little clunky in that way. Um, does not feel floaty, though. And the parries are fun. I'd like more magic, but I think we're just getting to that point where we can actually do something. I think this is the hub. This is the, ah, uh, yeah. Yep. We've arrived at the hub. Okay, so this might be where everything opens up, so let's find out. I had no doubt in my assessment of you. Oh, you should have. Worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. Yay. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to take me a break. the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir was no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. What? <laughs> While the schism between the church and judge cleric is of long standing, she mm -hmm. and her hallowed sentinel did at I'm least skip ahead a little bit here. Hmm. It's radiant beacons which have proven. But now, it is to these five beacons who use the umbral lamp to cleanse them of a deep and deliver salvation to a world What'd you give me? Brink of oh, condition. that's an emote. All right, cool, thanks. Hey, are you the lady I just killed? By divine will, I would say so. Again. It's a miracle. And to think are you dead? I raised my sword to you, when all along you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallows. Oh, that's how you say it. <laughs> And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I. Whether by making mana contain All right. sand and eric, should you find, bring them to me. Oh, okay, so she's going to be our fire keeper. She's going to boost our healing abilities. And Adir's malignancy eradicate fellow chosen of her. Okay, so if I say upgrade, what do you need? One saintly quintessence. All right, I will uh, do that. Oh, wait, did you see that? Hold on a minute. There's a reset build option that I can't use, but it's there. That's good to know. All right. So we got that. That's fine. Who are you? So the exactors found himself a new instrument, and given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall, and yet now here you are. Well. Someone's molding. I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusade. I'm Stoneman. A group of good men and against the madness which is we made a vow to uh -huh. the cost uh -huh. ourselves. That heretical umbral lamp. And as I knew, it would seem. There we go. Now we're talking. What do you got? Ooh. 
Well, don't mind if I fucking do. Okay. Here we go. I thought we might open things up once we got to the hub, and here it is. So, we've got a short sword here that is a little bit better than the one I'm currently throwing around. Or rather, this just does physical damage as opposed to physical and fire. This one, axe, a spear, another pole arm. Okay. An actual shield. Blocking 42% damage would be nice. What's this? Vitality and endurance. How much money do I have? 17. Whoops. Uh, Pilgrim's Perch, I think. This leads to an area I'm not supposed to show, so we won't be grabbing that. Ammunition. Don't know what that is. Ooh. Ooh. I think I found the brand armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, interesting. We won't waste our money on it, though. Uh, what does this require? Ten strength? I could afford that. I will take one of those, please. Thank you. And this is a light shield. I don't know if it's like... Oh, it requires agility to use this one. All right, I have a theory. So let's see. So first things first. Um, put the shield in the hand. Pretty fast on that. That's cool. I like that. I have a feeling this one has less block and such, but it's a light shield. And when it says light shield, the weight is not significantly different. It's like 0 0.1. So I imagine... Can I, can I still wear it? I wonder if it has like a larger parry window. That would make sense, yeah? That would make sense. All right, interesting. Let's, uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Wait a minute, I have a theory. Not sure what's happening with those floating health bars out there. That's uh, a little bit of jank there. Also, did I pick up anything else? No, just this ring. Okay, no. Not this one, this one. Hmm. Well, there's definitely something happening over there. <laughs> but, uh... Don't think we can get over there just yet. Interesting. Alright. Oh, hello. Who be you? Ah, that's it, isn't it? Not a useless like the one I saw that... I've learned a little since about that... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Truth. Of course, some people are. My name is but far more than that, as proven by my family. That's right. Please tell me you're here to sell me miracles. Only to be betrayed. So you'll understand while an unfortunate victim. Give me the lamp. No, it saddens me to see you. I no, you can't just have my lamp go away. My offer stands. After all, my offer stands. After all, you, you are literally just here to berate me about having the lamp. Okay, well, fuck you. All right. You're currently installing original Diablo 2 and uh, Lord, Lords of Destruction. Oops. Would it make you upset to know that I uh, recently found a... Oh, hey, a spear. Uh, found my old Diablo 1. Installed it immediately and have been playing it a little bit. It should. Who? Careful. If you're headed for Pilgrim's Perch, Fred, uh, the hallowed sentinels don't want those cross count. All I wanted was to redeem me. What's a poor reject? I gave away most of what, but uh, if you... I know, it doesn't look like A much. stick! <laughs> <laughs> really? It's a harsh wind, but a tree that doesn't... This, uh, this game seems determined <laughs> to give me shitty weapons. Oh, well, there you go. There's the... Base hammer, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Why would you do that? Why is there so many... ...junky weapons? Alright. Well, hey. Let's see how... Uh, oh, God! <laughs> well, good news. Sword good. Now, how is shield? Oh, right. Okay, hold on a minute. Shield good for parries? Maybe? Maybe? Testing? Come on. Ow. Uh, yeah, that did a lot of stamina damage. Oh, I have some chip damage now, though. There we go. Eh, it'll serve. 
It's no dagger, but it'll serve. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm back. He's back. From outer space. Alright. Another pilgrim hood I don't need. Fun. A map of uh, pilgrim's purchase sent. I don't think I'm supposed to burn her. That's fine. They said that, it, that I would need a key to get to the places I'm not supposed to go. So we will treat this as such. Kick! Let me three. There we go. We're fine. So I'm seeing there's like two modes of play here. You can well three modes. What was that? Does that happen every time? Uh, it does not. Okay, some sort of glitch. Um, there seems to be three modes of play. There is the spellcaster who's just lobbing things from the distance. There is the guy who just runs in with sword. No parrying considered. Just you know, hack and slash your way through. And then there's like the parry master who can mix it in there. Woo. A little bit, but also uh, focuses more on just those crit hits. And obviously, if you can get kind of a mixture, whoa, that's an old animation. I recognize that one. If you can get a mixture of all three, you'd be best served, I'm sure. Let's get rid of you. Go. Always kill the mage first. Where are the rest of you? Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I appreciate that this method of fighting is faster, per se. Like just killing the enemies faster. But it's not as satisfying for me. Why are you guys coming back? That's not good. You? It's probably you. Ow. Well, I'm coming for you. Ooh. Where do you think you're going? Are you seriously running? Eh, now you're dead. As for you. Well. There's something for you. Okay, maybe not. Is it me or is there a lot of motion blur? There is a lot of motion blur. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Hmm. Let's let's see if we can turn off the motion blur and see if that helps, because it is kind of a lot. Let's see. Mm. Not seeing it. Maybe graphics. Everything's on ultra. Ah, there it is, motion blur. Turn that off. There we go. Film grain? Yeah, whatever. I don't know what those ones are. Please apply change. That's a little bit better. What's the story of Lords of the Fall about? Couldn't tell you. Uh, angry evil god corrupting things, summoning monsters and demons and things. Uh, make it stop. Go get them. That is my understanding. That is my understanding, anyway. Does it feel floaty? No. No, not really. Like I've said before, this is we're not talking this Dark Souls 3 Bloodborne. It's not that tight, but uh, it's also not Dark Souls 1 floaty and gar like janky. Delirium Fragment. Is that, is that one of those upgrade materials I've heard so much about? Whoa! Who gifted 10 subs over there? Who did that? Arano! Arano! Freeze! Freeze did that! Freeze! Wow! Very, very generous of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. 10 scholarships. Use up those, uh, use those emotes while you got them, kids. Alright, this thing. What is this? Basic weapon upgrade. Got it. Got it. You and that fucking shove. Bell staff. Hold on. 
There it is. This looks like it's got some attack and it's got holy damage. Requires radiance of 12. It is a spear. Interesting. So holy weapons do exist. Can confirm. Oh, who? who? Really? Guy hiding up there? Alright. Well, now I have to kill you. Surprise, motherfucker. Alright. Mm-hmm. And I'll just, uh, take the, uh, instant revive. There is a blacksmith in this game somewhere. Yes. I've been told there is one, and they do upgrade your weapons. Uh, and upgrading your weapons is apparently vitally important. Uh, we just have not seen one yet, nor do I have a weapon I'm actually attached to. A bloody hatchet. I have a feeling this bloody hatchet is actually... No, it's not. What is it? What is... Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is a throwing weapon. Okay. Cost two ammo, huh? Yeah. I got pyromancy. I'm fine. There we go. You all have a lot of health, don't you? A lot of armor, rather. There we go. There we go. Now oh, he's he's putting it together. Look at these assholes coming out of the church. I thought I saw an item. Yeah, there it is. Penitent shackles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. The the Bloodborne mechanic of, like, regaining... He oh, Jesus. That's kind of silly. Um, the regain health mechanic is pretty interesting. Boop. Regular delirium nuggets? <laughs> Chicken tendies? Excuse me? Where are those? I gotta know. I gotta know. There they are. Also used for upgrades. Okay. Sure. And there's this guy up here. Whoa. Slow down. <laughs> this is the backlogs. Yep. You are correct. This is not Sparta. Believe it or not. That guy dead down there? Nope. Now he is. We could go down further, but I want to see what's in the church. Nope. And we've got another cleric running around there somewhere. Avowed mace. Go on. Can't use it. Not enough strength or agility. Ow! <laughs> Thought I was safe. I was wrong. Does it do holy damage? Nope, just physical. Okay. Good to know. Oop. What's happening here? What is this? Oh, you know what that is? I know what that is. Yeah, okay. What this is, is they uh, gotta go to this, and that lets us see what's going on here. Oh, Lord Sentinel. Most blessed representatives of the Holy hmm. Church Cleric. My soul soars to see Hold your tongue, a pilgrim. And on your feet. You are on sacred ground. And we are yet to see whether you it are deserving watcher, yeah. <laughs> of that honor. I assure you. I have dedicated my life to the teachings of Judge Cleric. My faith in her and her divine works is boundless. Pray it is, for our Immaculate Lady's light will lay bare the truth. While well, they're talking. <laughs> there is judgment. Yay, umbral scourings. Okay, whatever. Um, we could and probably should go back to the real world, so let's do that real quick. 
There we go. How's the game feeling so far? That's eh, alright. I'm not going to be dropping everything to play it, but it's alright. Is that the bonfire? Yeah, it's one of them. Mm -hmm. Basically. Alright, what do we got going on here? <laughs> the, bear, the running animation is a bear on two legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that's a that's a fun way to put that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that one got me good. <laughs> uh, can't unsee. Anyway, any hidden goodies over here? You want to hide something from me? Does this, uh... Yeah, I thought so. Let me sneak my way in here. Excuse me? Did you just put a grenade in my hand? What is this? <gasps> it's a ranged weapon. A vial filled with holy water. Shut up and take my money. Uh, okay, let's see. That's gonna be... Replace this. No, no, no. We're not using the rock. Oh, no, no. We're using the grenade. I guess it's worth noting. Like, for example, hey, uh, if I want to use ranged weapons that are not spells, uh, I could switch between here's rock, here's throwing axe, and here is uh, apparently holy hand grenade. So you can... It's kind of nice that they let you do that. But regardless, uh, let's give that a test run on something, shall we? I'm curious to see. There's a nearby enemy who would be so kind and so willing. Yep, didn't think that would be healthy for me, but I rolled in it anyway. Oh, you're not an enemy. The cleric's welcome comes beyond more often than makes me curious. I suppose dangling the promise and the threat of death from the other. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On second, you know, not long ago. Now, I know they'd see you don't. There's salvation. But you won't find there's something. Uh, all right. Well, you're not helping me. <laughs> you're here to give me lore, and I'm not really here for that right now. Oop, fell down a hole. What about you? You're an enemy. <laughs> you're also within very close distance of, of uh, fighter bomb range. Here, have one. Interesting. So, yeah, it's a, it's a grenade. I know one of the starting classes, the other sword and board, uh, does have fire bombs, like straight up, like the same thing, another grenade, but it's a fire form of it. So there is absolutely different types of grenades in this game. Oh, hello, we're at a boss. Um, <laughs> cool. Hello, Scourge Sister Deleth. Who, who, where? Is it you? No, nope. is it you? No, what do you have for me? All right. Ah, oh, there you are. <gasps> Blasphemous. Die, fiend! Ah, I regret everything. Aha! Oh, well, get that last one. Yeah, she got She's got the kicks. What's happening? She's not here. She's not taking damage. Block. Block. Get my health back. You got a stamina? Yes, you are. There we go. Easy. Easy. Uh, not so easy. Taking it back. Taking it back. Oh, got a little bit of... Oh, doing the whole, okay, penitent, penitent thing here. Mm, yep, all right. Round two. Still here. Aha! It's a shame that pairing doesn't give you all of your withering health back, but that's okay. We'll work with this. Oof. Oof. Okay. Interesting. Penetrant one! Yeah, right, no kidding. <laughs> Use the holy hand grenade. Somehow I don't think that's gonna be effective here. Um. 
Interesting. So, it appears that when I block, even if it's like a partial block, partial blocks give me the wither damage. Perfect parries do not. Perfect parries do more stamina damage than a regular block does. And if I am reduced to zero health with uh, with partial parries, I'm still alive. I get to keep my magic pixel, but as soon as I take one hit, I die. So you can technically partial parry your way to victory and survive on a sliver of health. Which is kind of an interesting way of doing it. Can I just... Well, that was the wrong choice. <laughs> The answer is yes, but also, you shouldn't have. Alright, well. Hey. Hey, you. Have an axe. Eh. <laughs> Alright, so down there is clearly a uh, healing pool. So that's no good. Uh, while I've got a minute here, uh, put that on. There we go. Okay. Hello. No, I want that health back. And I didn't block that last one. Mmm, boy. You've unlocked my final form. I'm stronger in the shadows. Allegedly. There we go. Are we healing? Fine. Everything's fine. That's a fireball. That's a fireball. Oh, are you summoning people? What is that? Holy Twister? No, oh, thank you. Honestly, the dodging feels good enough that I don't really feel the need to block. Also, I'm not very good at blocking, so that's uh, definitely a bit of a trade-off there. If that's a healing pool, couldn't you use it? It's a good question. But if I lure her over there, she'll heal up. Right? Like, one would imagine that she'll follow me in there, and then that would kind of reset all of our progress. So I'd rather not do that. Also, maybe we don't throw ourselves off a ladder this time and uh, just take the actual way down there. Because the fall damage is a thing. Will I do the DS2 and 3 whip runs? Eventually. Eventually. Kind of taking a bit of a hiatus from Dark Souls a bit. Letting it breathe. This doesn't hurt me, right? Alright, good. Out of curiosity. Where's this asshole? Um, no summons. So we're on our own now. Got it. I'll take that back, thank you. If you would, uh, get out of the pool, it is closing time. Just get rid of you guys real quick so you don't get in the way later. Right. No blocking, all dodging. Let's do it. And she kicks. Alright. Alright. Again with the kicking. Hmm. It's a little tricky to time my attacks in between that. Kind of annoying. Again with the kicking. Hey, perfect blocks. How about that? There we go. There we go. And now we punish. She's going holy mode. We're going fire mode. It's a cute spell and all. Mine's better. 
Up, up, up. She's doing that healing thing. Hold on. Okay, so it's not a heal. It's it's just a sacred area where she can't get hurt. Ooh, I walked right into that. Oh, we are about to bleed. Ooh. Okay, bleeding is bad. Duly noted. Well, when in doubt. I got hit with a fucking bleed tornado again. Screaming lady. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, that's okay. We're fine. We're still in it to win it. Back it up. So we can actually avoid the tornado this time. Dodge that attack. And you are dead. Easy. Got the flail, arm wrappings, and the vestige. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. You know, I really should be using my lantern more. <laughs> I'm realizing that I'm not doing that like, at all. Should probably be using that against enemies. Not just for puzzles. Hey, saintly quintessence, I know what that's for. All right. Health upgrade, woo. <laughs> ah, no. Immediate karma. Bleed salts? Well, I know what those do. Oh, you're going to make me fucking do some jumping puzzles? Ugh. Okay, we're fine. For a lacerating knife? Oh, actually, wait, no, that's that's right. There's, It says one, but that's actually just a ranged weapon. Uh, the thief starts with that one. It is a thrown weapon that does bleed damage. That's actually pretty dope. Alright. Fights look cool, but you wish it was a smidge cheaper. Yeah, I'm kind of of that same mindset here. Um, like I said, I would not pay $60 for this, I don't think. It feels a little... I'm kind of jaded, right? Like... I'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to pay for things full price regardless, so I'm probably the wrong person to listen to on that one. But more often than not, I'm kind of the guy that's like, eh, $50 is fine, $60 might be too much. If you're asking for $70, i am sorry, no. This is, this is going to, I can already tell this is going to get some patches here and there for some performance issues and things. So not worth full price right off the get-go. All right, we don't want to go that way. Yeah, I don't know. It's... Like I said, I'm not actually having a bad time, which is good, because that's the last thing you want to advertise, is just having a bad time with the game. Um, ow. Ow. Like, yeah, the combat doesn't feel bad. I'm kind of curious how the long, or the heavy weapons play, just to kind of see uh, if it's <laughs> good old Lords of the Fallen kind of combat with the heavy weapons, or if it's... Uh, more like Dark Souls. I would be curious to know. And uh, we'll check that out before we end the stream for sure. Just for those that like to go unga. With their, like, a little extra unga with their bunga. Ooh. Who is that? Well, you just kind of came out of fucking nowhere now, didn't you? Hmm. <laughs> what, no hundred dollars for base games? Not in this economy. A Microsoft Store, the game is $70 base, $80 for Deluxe. Is that American or is that Canadian? Just curious. Over 100 bucks for this game in New Zealand? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, obviously it's going to depend on where you're from. If we're talking American, uh, I would pay 40 to 50 for this, probably. And I would also hold off about a week just to let them work out all the bugs and the kinks. Uh, because as a PC player... Uh, I have learned that when a game releases, you wait. Because 
then they get all the data about all the different graphics cards and things like that, and then they can kind of work out how things work, and, you know, all that fun stuff. Running Bear! <laughs> That's a name. We should use that. We should use that. In a future thing. Oh, okay, yep. Off you go. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, decent game though. I'm not having a bad time by any stretch of the imagination. It seems deep enough that there's some stuff to do, lots of builds to do. So that's cool. And we've only fought like three or four bosses, so we've still got lots of content to go. There you are. Oh, you've got my souls too? How nice of you. Did you just pick those up for me? Well, here. I got a uh, not that. Actually, yeah, no, let's let's uh, let's give that a try. Hold on. Buddy. You don't need that soul, right? You gotta look for that. There, let me let me hold this for you. Well, that did uh, very little damage to you. Block. Block. You seem very hard. I'm not sure if that's because you have my souls or if that's because I'm not supposed to be here, but. Still standing. Still standing. Hm. There we go. Perfect block. Ow, you bitch. <laughs> Coming back for those souls. You best think it. Give me my souls. There we go. I'll take those. Thank you. And what else did you drop me? All right. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna leave those guys alone. <laughs> oh, he's strong. That's right. What are you guarding? Something fun? Nah. Upgrade materials. Fun enough. Flower bed nearby. Is there? Average Joe. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. A plain shield. <laughs> yes. Weirdly better than everything else I use. Duly noted. Not sure how I feel about these like lantern mechanics. What sword is this? Uh, this is a rusty something or other. Rusty cutter. We found it before the first main boss, the the holy lady with the wings. Um, it was just in a pit of fire, which, you know, naturally I jumped right in and grabbed it, so. That was our reward for that. What do you have? Uh, it looks like an emote. Okay. The damage doesn't look weak overall. No, yeah, it seems pretty good. Um, you know, we haven't even upgraded the weapons yet, and it seems to be doing pretty solid damage. I think as long as you're not using a broken sword like we were, uh, you're good to go. So, yeah. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't make the backlog's mistake of, uh, trying to use a broken dagger. Right from the word go. Oh, that guy's having a good time, huh? Kind of sucks because I blocked that from you, Perfect Perry. But then that guy hit me. Because apparently those guys do range attacks. Well, I've got the perfect thing for you. Oh wait, I'm dead. <laughs> Never mind. See you there, malcontent. Have a good one. How long are we streaming for? Uh we're streaming for at least another hour. At least another hour. I'd like to get further. Can you kick the head guy off the ledge? Ooh, good question. And strafing him from attacking behind from... Wow, I just kind of ate my tongue and spat it back out. Uh, continue to strafe and attack from behind. Yes, that could also be... We could, we could actually strategize. You're right. Good thinking, chat. 
Maybe that's been my problem all along. I am I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> I, I'm noticing a tendency to just kind of rush in and uh, swing. Maybe that's the wrong play. You really want to get it? Uh, if you really want to get it. If looking at this, you're just like, yep, this is everything I wanted. Then I say go for it. It's solid enough that it will uh, probably sate whatever you want, like the, that itch that you're looking for. I think you'll be fine there. The mechanics are pretty sound. The dodging is very nice. The parrying is pretty good. Um, they're still working on it, I know. Like, literally as of yesterday. Oh, okay. Hey, chat wants to know if I can kick you off a ledge. You mind testing that for me? Nope. He does not move. <laughs> he did not care for that idea at all. Aha! Just kidding. I return. <laughs> eh. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, the jumping's a little janky. The jumping reminds me of Dark Souls 1. Um, not in execution. The button press is fine. But in the animation and the distance is kind of like... Eh. So, um, yeah, not so sure about that. But, uh, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like it's requiring us to use the jump very often. So I think we're, so I don't think that's going to be a, uh, big problem in the future. Can wait for fire bombs only? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I have not seen any way to regenerate ammunition aside from, like, these random packs of ammunition that you can pick up and they don't do enough damage to actually push through on that so unless I cheat engined it so I had unlimited ammo I don't think uh, I don't think that's gonna be a possibility in this run or in this game rather so so don't hold your breath on that one just yet at least that's therapeutic all right there we go moving on yeah, we'll, we'll get him. I've been, uh, we're just kind of playing around, trying things out. I think I lost all the boss souls. That's fine. Whatever. That's fine. Whatever. In fact, let's, uh, let's try the old good scoop. Oh, wait. Right. Gotta go up. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, here's good. All right. No. <laughs> not, uh, not quite what I had in mind there. We Ooh, baby. Hello. That man's got an agenda. No, don't don't do that. I need you to climb. Can I use I cannot use us on ladder? Good to know. Use it here though. And I don't think enemies use ladders or at least not often. This feels very much like a uh Oh. Hmm. Nah, you gotta be in the... Gotta be in the bad zone. Okay. Did we check the flare from the boss lady? That's a good question. I did not. Uh, physical damage. Requires agility 11. Wait a minute. I assume this is it. Oh, the other weapons don't look right. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, significantly weaker than everything else I've got. Kind of weird. I'm not sure what that's about. Alright, anyway. Ah, yes, we do have to go level up our healing item. Yeah, you're right. How's the UI? Uh, not, not exactly a huge fan of the UI. Doesn't... Oh, right, forgot about you. Uh, the UI itself does not feel quite right. Will I do a multiplayer run of this game? No. Sippy break. Yeah, no, I, I can't, I don't have any friends that would actually be interested in playing this with me. So, no. Um cool that you can do multiplayer runs with people, though. Is the UI configurable? Doesn't really look like it. 
at least not at this current point in time. I think a lot of people have mentioned it, like all the playtesters have been saying, or early access I should say, all the early access players have been mentioning that like the UI is kind of garbled and certain things need a little extra work. Uh, and the devs have been responding. I know they've already made several changes already. So that's good. They're, you know, they're actively trying to fix it. Or make it feel better, I should say. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I don't think it's quite... I don't think it's quite as configurable as we'd like. Okay, I am noticing that there is, in fact, <laughs> a thing. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, right. If I had... Is that... Does that not count as a flower bit? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is where I was supposed to plant that thing I got from the boss, and then this would be where I could have used all those souls. Oops. Too late. Aha! Fucking go. Okay. And you. Yeah, this is for you. There you go. Enjoy. Alright, let's see. There we go. The devs players fix a lot of stuff based on the Souls player suggestions, which you respect. Yeah, no, I get you. I agree. I'm glad that they- they've already mentioned that they took a lot of, um, inspiration from Dark Souls stuff. There you are. Come on. Um... Let's see if we can kind of... Ooh, Jesus Christ. Really? Wow, these guys hit very hard. Am I supposed to be going somewhere else? Was there another way? I don't know. Um... I feel like not. I think this is still, like, the right way to go. I have an idea. Let's do a thing that we have not yet done. Let's take the bonfire and teleport back to where we were. Warp. Oh, look, that's how this works. That's confusing. Uh, okay. This appears to be the hub. Let's go there. Yeah, we should get more health. Uh, I mean, we've, we did put a few points into it, but yeah, clearly we do not have as much as we'd like. And she work continues, can upgrade it. Vessel. Plus May one. The hey. And into you. Well, it's a better animation than Dark Souls 2. Alright. What's the next one do? Our holy work continues, Just one more? Okay. Let will oh, it gave me an extra charge, too. Extra charge and extra health. Duly noted. All right, woo! <laughs> Thanks, game buff. Appreciate you. Uh, is there a blacksmith somewhere? You know, we did see in the spooky darkness <laughs> this. Not sure quite what's happening here. Well, let's uh, let's find out. Hello, who are you? The lamp must oh God. Be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Okay. Only then can the remain. What do you have? <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, catalysts. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think it broke. Yep, that's a crash. That's a crash. Well, hey, let's look at what is on the screen while we've got it. <laughs> uh, it looks like they're saying catalyst. This is a type of catalyst. Benefiting from Inferno and Radiance. And there's the crash report. Okay. Go ahead and send that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, load this back up. One second. Update. All right, hold on a minute. I'll move this over to another screen so you guys can't be peeking, peeking. Gotta delete those too. All right. 
Uh, yeah. So, cool. I have heard from another player that this has happened to them as well. So, bit of a bug, um, which kind of sucks considering it looks like this guy's the guy that's going to trade us the spells. Um, hopefully this update that is now immediately happening will fix that. Uh, it should be done in about 15 seconds. So, cool, cool. Uh, is it better so far than the first one? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, I don't think, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think that would, uh, be... God, if they, if they didn't do that, that would be terrifying. I, I would question why the company exists after 10 years if they had not been able to, you know, <laughs> do better than that one. So, but no, it's doing okay. Um, obviously, bit of a, bit of a glitch here. What's happening? Ooh, ooh, that's a big patch. Okay, hold on. <laughs> nice wallpaper. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just ignore that. Yeah, but anyway, it's, uh, so let's, uh, let's just talk about the game, I guess. Um, it's been okay. It's been, the combat has been fun. The dialogue and mechanics and things have been pretty decent. Uh, seems like it's, I don't want to call it mid because it's not, I wouldn't say this is going to be one of those games that's like unmemorable because I don't feel like that's quite right either. It's not top tier, oh my god, put everything down and play it kind of stuff, but it is good. So I don't I don't really know what to You know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Hard to uh hard to promote, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The UI needs some work. Compared to Elden Ring, honestly, I'm having more fun with this than I am with Elden Ring, but that's because I don't really like open worlds. Um, I like Elden Ring's mechanics more. So, you know. How many more hours, or how many hours are we in already? Uh, quite a few. Looks like about three. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't break this time. Here. What if I say upgrade the lamp? What does that do? Okay. More charges... A secondary socket. Do I have a socket on this thing? Have I not been doing that? Oops. Uh, we better do that. Oh, here. Socket umbra lie. da -doy. Uh, yeah. Hey, put this in there, would you? One extra soul flay charge and some dread resistance. Hey, there we go. That's not bad. Sell. <sighs> Please take all these fucking things. Like you, I, I do not serve. need this many wooden crosses. Okay. That's good. All right, please, God. Please, base God. Hey, there we go. We're good. All right. Let's see what we got. Charm of Fortune Sight. Spell power is better. Spell slots, four. Requires some radiance. Hurl an orb of umbral magic. Okay. Summon several stationary orbs, which explode upon contact. Interesting. Um... He's selling these so I can trade them with him. That's kind of a weird, weird system, but whatever. Let's see. Adds wither damage to a weapon. Grants 1600 vigor. Okay, so this would be the case of, like, you have a lot of souls and you're worried about losing them. So you can trade them in for about 60% and have them as that. So that's something, I guess. Uh, this thing is for the seedlings. Those are all right. This one lets you travel back like a little warp without losing your souls. That's good. Used to unveil further opportunities for vengeance. Huh. Not sure about that one. Uh, okay, so he's got a couple spells, though. Um, don't really want them right now. But that's good to know. That's cool, though. What's this? Use plucked eyeballs to purchase items at the shrine. Oh, yeah, sure, okay. Do I have plucked eyeballs? Oh, I do. I have a few. Uh, what is this? What is this? Insufficient plucked eyeballs to purchase ashen. Vengeful and lump Oh! Oh, this is an online mechanic. 
I've, I've heard a little bit about this. So when people die, you can quote unquote avenge them. Like, you know, like if you see, say, uh, in Dark Souls, you would see the blood pools and they would tell you like how they died. I think in this game that when you see those, you can then go hunt down whatever killed them. And I guess that'll give you some of these. I wonder if these are just uh, like titles or something for your character. I don't know. Not sure quite what the quite what the play there is, but all right. Interesting. Interesting at the very least. Anything cool down here? Didn't really go this way. Uh. Uh. Yeah. There's this. What's what's uh what's all this now? Is this door open? No, it does not. Well, all right then. Cool for cats. Did I see something else? Uh, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, if I could just not be dead, that'd be good. There we go, thank you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh. Game. Hang in there. Rogar and Hallowed sent the Aureus Mercy is without. What are you selling? Hold on a minute. What is this? Are you selling daggers and you didn't fucking tell me? Are you selling holy spells and you didn't fucking tell me? Oh god, okay, alright. Go figure. I thought he was just lore master. Shit. All right, uh, daggers. Super good. Super good. Looks pretty cool. Does wither damage. Fuck yeah. Um, cool. Axes. Some sort of uh, catalyst for holy spells, including uh, holy, like, uh, magic missile. Healing radiance. A healing spell. Interesting. What's this? <gasps> Imbue your... All right, shit. All right, well, I want to be a paladin now. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> ah, shoot. Paladin build was the way to go. It has the good stuff. Damn. Imagine a dagger wielding paladin. That's my. That's the thing I do. That's what I always do. I always have a dagger, a buckler, and miracles, and heavy armor. Ah. Fuck. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. This is a little fur too far into the game to be like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back, we're gonna start over, we're gonna get to this and we're gonna get it. That's a little too much. Um, what we will do, because I wanna make sure that everyone sees everything and can make a judgment call on whether or not they want to buy this game. We're gonna show off a few other things and uh, see if you know, make sure everything is good to go. Ah, Jesus, loud. Um, so, for example, I didn't have any heavy weapons that entire playthrough. Let's, uh... Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Character name? Perfect. Oh, you want an actual name? Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and play a couple other builds. Uh, we can speed run through the tutorials and things like that. And we kind of portray it just so everyone gets to see what their build might be let's see what we're looking at with these great swords all right pretty decent speed actually how's the damage yeah that's significant great sword hype let's go uh but yeah let's um let's play around let's see what we get god it's got to like it's got a poke too Damn. Yeah, that, that works. Show us the bucket build? Gladly. Give me a minute. Is it worth $70? Um, not... I don't know. I think in its current state, I would say no. For me, when I say there's this... Like, if I'm going to pay $70, I need this game to not have any kind of glitching, crashing like we just saw. Um, you know, needs to be... It needs to be done. It needs to be polished. 
And I'm not seeing that just yet with this game. So I would not. Am I one-handing this? Oh, hold on a minute. Let's two-hand this bad boy. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, so for... At its current point, I don't think I personally would be down for it. Doesn't mean that you won't be. Jesus wept. That's a lot of damage. Uh, so, you know. Use your, uh, use your own mind. You got this. I trust you. Vote with your wallet. That's all, that's all we have in this world. Um, but yeah, personally, I would... Myself, I would wait just to uh, make sure that it becomes stable for the PC. And that way, you know, I'd be, it'd be worth my money. Um, that said, like I said earlier, if this looks like it's totally your vibe, the devs have been actively fixing it, so... I don't think it's going to be a case of they don't fix it and they just leave it for dead and you're just stuck with a broken game. I do not think that will be the case. So I think you'd be safe to grab it early or grab it while they're still fixing things if this is absolutely your vibe. Hopefully that helps. Alright, so... Seems like the... Seems like the great weapons attack fast enough, which is good. <laughs> um, nothing really to them. Not a whole lot of depth to them, but it's, uh, you know, it's something. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hello. If you're all about that unga bunga, I think this game's got you covered. Recover a lot of health back, I'm noticing. My build, you had to hit him a few times. This one, you just kind of give him the old one swing and you get about a quarter of your health back. Wait for patches? That would be my argument, yes. That would be my argument. Just, uh, looks good. It's got solid bones. Wait for patches. My opinion. No, I have not played Lies of P yet. I cannot make comparisons to that because I just simply have not had the time to play it. I was uh, out of the country for a while for some work stuff. Um, all those challenge runs that we threw at you, those were all in the backlog. I had those just kind of primed and ready for when I, you know, needed to take a break, uh, which was the last couple weeks, so... I got this desiccated vestige moth. I wonder if I can actually just use that unlimited. I don't know. All right, well, let's slay this boss real quick. Curious to see how much, uh... <laughs> That's cute. My turn. What happened there? Oh, did I run out of stamina? <laughs> there it is. I'll take that parry. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I think we know which is the easy mode. I think we found it. Pyromancer was definitely not it. Wow. I am curious to see how much damage we can do to this guy. I doubt it'll be anything significant. But, you know. Aha! Joke's on you. Die, Nazgul! <laughs> big sword hit hard. Yep. Yeah, if you, if you needed a power fantasy about hitting things with a big sword, I think, uh, I think this game's got you covered. Come take it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I, I asked. He, he delivered. Oh, I can't block that? 
Boo. That's okay. You can't get over how crisp the iframes are. The iframes do feel very good. I will say that. They do feel really good. Okay, so that was that. That's our boy here. Does he have a ranged attack? Oh, he's got the throwing axis. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that was that guy. we we'll quit out of that real quick. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> I'm supposed to win this time? Oh, my bad. What class was that? That was the... That was the, um... Barbarian, for lack of a better term. <laughs> Loud noises! Um... The war wolf. This guy here. Mr. Ungabunga... All the strength. So... That was a good one. Um, I have tried... Like, the partisan and the infantry. Or, I haven't tried the partisan, but I have tried the infantry. It's fine. Um... Honestly, it reminds me of a tankier pyromancer with a shield. Uh, not a whole lot to really see there, if I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, buckets, though. Oh, oh, let's talk about the buckets. Let's talk about the buckets. Yep, ASDF is fine. Um, what GPU are we sporting and how's the performance? We have a 4090 and uh, an i9 processor. Uh, performance has been a little spotty. Law, hey, Beant. How's it going, man? Performance has been a little spotty. Uh, a few lag spikes here and there when entering new areas, and we did have a crash. All right, so, buckets. You either have one bucket, which you just kind of do that, or dual buckets. And I... <laughs> I am, uh, I'm a little upset at how good they are. They should not be this good. But they are. <laughs> now, I will tell you, the parry? Awful. Look at that. Now. 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 It's just like, ugh. Gross. Uh, also, thrown weapon is rock. <laughs> so... But that's the bucket parry, so uh, if you wanted to see what the bucket repost looks like, there you go. <laughs> it's a stupid class. Did you see that damage right? Oh, you absolutely did. Yeah, this is this is silly. Agility is the dex equivalent there, Daniel. Um, you have strength, and then agility, and then like Inferno is your intelligence, and there's some holy stat as well. It's pretty simplified. It's not too bad. What weapon is this classified as? Good question. Uh, it is a bucket. <laughs> it's its own class. <laughs> I think if I had to guess, I think it's a fist weapon class. There is actually, you can actually just take it off and punch things. Look how fast you go though. <laughs> that, that zero equipment load. Yeah, let's uh yeah. Let's see what the... Yeah, so it's basically a fist weapon is what it is. That's what it appears to be, anyhow. Because the... The parry for the fist is also the same. Same window. <laughs> oh, but the... I will say the uh, stamina damage with the... The fist is terrible. Look at that. We have to parry this guy three times. And it doesn't even kill him. Oof, yeah. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do that, uh... That run anytime soon. Ow. Wanna try that again? Huh? Do ya? Haha! -ha, joke's on you! I wanted to quit. Alright. Half the damage with punch as with the greatsword? Was that how it came out to be? Dang. Greatsword strong. Alright, so that's the bucket. It says fist on it? Oh, I didn't even see that. But yeah, it's a fist. Cool. All right. Hopefully there's a ring for improving punching power. Oh, I'd be upset if there wasn't. Loud noise! Uh, okay. So let's see. Uh, other than that, there is the Preacher, which is apparently what I will be playing as when I actually play through this seriously. Um, we do have our Rogue, who starts with daggers. And bleeding throwing knives. Pretty cool. 
Uh, honestly, this is probably either if this isn't my first choice, then the preacher would be. I would say. This seems like more of like an all-arounder. Definitely not for me. This would be if you wanted to start with some heavy armor and you wanted to lean into dexterity, that would be the way to go with that guy. Kind of a bummer that it takes so long to load the characters. Yeah, this one's the, definitely the agility character though with 16. And this guy is uh, the Radiance character with 18. Yeah, there you go. Scott! Hey, buddy. Game looks cool? Yeah, I think it's pretty decent. Like I said, I would wait. Personally, I would wait for it to launch and let, let them do about like a week or two's worth of patches. I don't think you're going to miss out on much if you're not here on day one. But uh, but yeah, no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Is there weapon durability? Not that I've seen. We'll, uh, you know what we'll do? Here, I'm going to go Preacher. Yep, it's fine. Go ahead. Cool. Thank you. Um, just to show off the miracles a little bit. But we will also look into this weapon durability thing. All right. Hammer. I'm seeing attack power. I'm seeing block. I'm seeing the requirements. I see nothing about durability. So no, there's no durability in this game. Which is honestly good. I don't, I don't like durability very much. It seems like a kind of a silly mechanic sometimes. Damn, cleric. All right. Hitting as hard as the fucking other thing. Hold on a minute. That was one-handed. What about two-handed? 147. Is that stronger than the, than the Unga Bunga? I think that's stronger than Unga Bunga. Spite these fools. Amen, brother. Amen, amen, I say to you. You got that pyromancy? Weak shit. Pew. Yeah. Yeah, this is the class. <laughs> this is the right class. How's the parry? What do I have? A shield? Decent shield. Hey, can you? Thanks. Uh, I saw 226 on one strike. I think that's as good as the daggers, I want to say. That's a little crazy. That's a bit much. What you doing? You having a good day? You want to you wanna take a swing? Cute. My turn. Yep, 226. Twice. So, my math is a little slow, but that's about 452 damage, I want to say, in one hit. Pretty solid performance. Nice try there, Bozo. <sighs> I found my class. <laughs> I found it. I found it. It's mine. What do the parry windows feel like? They feel good. Um, it depends on which weapon you're using. So, like, the fist... Oh, that's the wrong button. Ugh. Uh, the fist feels... Like, the parry window for the fist is not great. But that makes sense. It probably shouldn't feel good. Uh, the shield parry windows feel pretty decent, and the faster weapon parry windows feel amazing. And this is, is this a light shield? Yes, it is. Yeah. So as we kind of guessed, we never got to play around with it, but as we guessed, the light shields have the same parry window as the daggers. Which explains why I like it. Man, yeah, this is literally just the class for me. Holy shit. Big damage. Decently fast. Has... Has spells. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but... Here we go. Let me just smash this man's soul for a minute here. Oh, and now he's gonna offer up his, uh... Oh! I absorbed a guy. I did not know that was a thing. Cool, alright. Hey, new things. Phantom of Time. Your spell seems to cause bleed buildup. Does it? No. Oh, it does! Look at that. 
there's definitely a trade-off for using the spells. Like, the spells are really good. But the pyromancy one seems to have some sort of, like, fire crazy buildup. Uh, and the, apparently, the miracles cause bleed. So that's interesting. Ow. Yeah, if I, can, if I could find a dagger, though, that would make this build, like, the build for me, for sure. 100%. Away with ye! <laughs> Holy thorns. Yeah, it could be. Could be the case. I'm just gonna sit here. Alright. He had his chance. Alright. That ground animation after dropping was red. Did I do like a superhero drop? I, didn't, I actually didn't even pay attention. Uh, let's do this. There we go. We'll test that animation right now. Just hug this guy's face. There we go. Awesome. Go on, get. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I can fuck with that. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, the m here's the thing about this game is kind of weirding me out. The more I play it, the more I'm enjoying it. The first hour I played didn't really feel great. Like, I was kind of struggling with it. I wasn't really having fun. There was a lot of mechanics happening. I was just kind of like, eh, okay. Um, but then, starting the stream today with, like, some knowledge under my belt, it felt better. And now that we've played it for about three hours, honestly, uh, feels pretty good. Hey, Otto. How's your soul, bud? Need some love? Don't worry, bud. I got you. All right, well. See ya. Let's see. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you, you gonna do that? All right. Have some holy damage. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty badass. I like the holy damage. Aha! Aha! Oh, you have a grab! Uh oh. Mm. Very well. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Bitch! Nice. There we go. Alright, skip the cutscene. If you could just eat me, you you and I both know I don't have the damage to defeat you. I'm not going to sit here and fight you for 20 minutes trying to get uh, God knows what. All right, well, maybe I'll see what the damage is. At least once. Where do you go? There you are. Here, kitty kitty. Ooh! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I wanted to try it. <laughs> it didn't really work out. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, just joined. How is it? Is it worth buying? I think uh, the price tag is a little much. Like, I'm, people keep telling me that it's seventy dollars. I would not pay seventy. I would pay fifty for sure, and if it was after two weeks or so. Um. Oh, you've got one of those little buddies, don't you? Hold on. Please hold. Are you the pyromancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I would wait about two weeks or so just to make sure they work out all the kinks for the PC. In my humble opinion. Honestly, that's kind of just the way to buy games these days anyway. I know, like, the hype is like, no, you gotta get it day one so all your friends can talk about it, but honestly, uh, I'd, I'd rather experience the game and have, like, a good time with it than play a game as early as possible and be frustrated to hell because it keeps crashing, you know? Or glitching out or whatever the case may be. But I'm weird and I don't really, you know, all my friends are adults so we all don't really have time to play together anyway. and Or play games at all, most of the time. So, you know, take my opinion with a grain of salt on that one. But I would recommend probably holding off 
on buying it uh, until about a week or so. Just let the patches keep work themselves out if you're willing to pay the uh, price tag. If this game goes on sale in the future, I'd say it's worth a buy. Base game 60, 70 for deluxe. Yeah, I keep hearing different things. People keep giving me different numbers here. So whatever it is, I mean, you're just going to have to make that opinion. Really is what it comes down to. I think it's worth it uh, if it's a little less. Like I said, 60 might be a little much. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I know what's going on. We're speedrunning, damn it. Eh. Go ahead and play this. So we can get whatever comes from that. There we go. Ooh, who are you? Hey now. Easy on the swing in there, buddy. Okay. Oh, yes, please. What'd you miss? Uh, we went through a couple of the other classes just to kind of show off different builds. And uh, picked up the cleric class, which is, uh, yep, definitely the one for me. 100%. This guy, pyromancing it up over there. Cute. <laughs> Someone asking for me to play the first Baldur's Gate. I am working on it. I am. I haven't actually like played through it before, so I would like to give it a try. Um, there's the broken sword. I will not make the same mistake. I'm not gonna. Use the broken sword right now. But, uh, yeah, from Baldur's Gate is on my mind. I don't say that much. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of cool ideas. A lot of interesting challenges, I think, coming down the line. Uh, I am trying to dedicate some extra time to the, uh, Dark Souls 1 one-shot contest, though. Uh, so... That's kind of why we're doing this stream, not only because it was an option, but also... Yeah, goofed it. Um, not only because it was an option, but also because I need to give myself a little time to uh, work on the video. Uh, so next week we will also be doing probably another stream, but uh, you're not going to want to miss that one. I have a sneaking suspicion you won't want to miss that one. You'll just have to wait and see when I make the thumbnail for it. Do I have pilgrim stuff already? No. Ah, this one's better though. What does that look like? Duh. <laughs> well, that's a choice, I guess. Where's your little buddy? You wanna play? Got him. I have like a is that a head? Alright, that's too much. <laughs> I don't care how much defense this gives me. That's too much. That's a nope. What's this? Eh? Eh? What is this? Dad? What? I didn't see this the first time. What is this? Hmm? I heard you. I heard you, you sneaky devils. Here, have some two-handed mace. Oh, a little dodgy action there. Okay. I goofed it. I goofed it. I'm out of heals. I do not have a healing spell. Ooh, hello. Just gonna have to wing it. Where is this taking me? Where are we going? Do tell. Just 
can I ignore you? Alright, we're doing this whole thing. Take that. Is this just leading me to the to the fire dagger? I swear if it is, I'm gonna be <laughs> Can I go through this? No. We need to get out of this area first. Hmm. More pilgrim stuff, of course, yeah. Oh, hello. Gentlemen. Oh, there's a lot of you. Just wiggle through. Thank you. <clears throat> the Deluxe Edition has an additional class? Which class? Now I'm wondering. Hey, bud, how's it going? You... Uh, what? You are a named enemy? Excuse me? Oh, well, now I feel bad, so I deal with all these bozos. Hold, please. Ow. <laughs> Ow. How did we... How did we bump into this guy? What is, what is this about? Ah, fucked it up. Nah, I fucked it up. Dark Crusader? Hmm. Really? Oh, the armor set in class from the cinematic trailer. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. If there's no way to get the class otherwise, I don't like that. That would be gross. Um, at least... That's gross for day one. It would be fine if it was like, hey, the game's been out for like six months and uh, we made a new class. Uh, that'd be fine. But day one to be like, yeah, here's the game. Also, if you want everything in the game, like, you know, key, <laughs> key things like a class, that's no good. Cannot get behind that. I wonder what he has. I wonder if it's, like, actually anything important. I mean, it's probably, like, the fucking Paladin class, right? Heavy armor with a, with a miracle of some kind. I wonder if anyone's done, like, a review on it. You can get the armor in class later. In fact, it makes no sense to have it from the start. It's from the NPC. Oh, okay. All right. So that is basically for people that want a uh, early access to a late game stuff. Got it. Okay. That's a little less scummy. That's okay. Not, maybe not like okay per se, but at least it's not like, you know, immediate micro transaction wall. Still, yeah, still, still rubs me the wrong way, but like, eh, okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you enjoying the view? Well, hope it was worth it. Probably think just get it later. Yeah, I like it, I think I said, I think it's, it's something that just unlocks later. Who cares? I wouldn't bother. By who cares, I mean, I wouldn't even bother buying it then, if that's the case. Ow. The, the class distribution they've got for just like the base game feels fine. I don't think there's anybody missing. You know? I don't think there's like they're not withholding a super relevant class. You can make that class probably. I'm sure like you get like a certain spell or something a little earlier which some people will of course pay for but yeah. Nah. <laughs> don't like that. Is this something I can, like, shoot or something? We never figured out how to open this. Oh, right. Bonfire. Whew. <laughs> how are the lords falling? Oh, they're, they're, they're falling over. That's for sure. They do indeed be falling. Eh, fucked it up. 
There we go. Alright. Probably starts with the Umbral spell. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Probably. I don't know what that is, though. Unless you're thinking maybe like that magic missile that we found earlier. That could be it. Remember this. Where are we? What are we doing? You again. I just killed you. Right. Okay, you're thinking the spell that, that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're on the same page. We're on the same page here. What is that? Unripe berries. Ah, same region. Got it. Alright, we got this guy. I'm just gonna ignore. And you, who I shouldn't have ignored, but I totally did. Where's the guy that stole my health? Or stole my souls? Where'd he get off to? I feel like we're just kind of running in circles now. Alright. Whew. What time we got? Yeah, it's about that time. Well, chat. What do you guys want to see? We got about 15 more minutes. <clears throat> we got about 15 more minutes. I feel like we've given a pretty good... <clears throat> oh, God, my throat. We've given a pretty good uh, example of the game. We saw about three bosses, four bosses, somewhere around there. Uh, I think we've seen most, if not all, of the classes or versions of the classes in any case. So we got all that. Um, yeah, so is there anything you guys want to see? Any questions you have about it that I can kind of help you out? For those of you that are still on the fence. <laughs> Odakunal? Uh, no. Probably not. Probably not. When we hit a million, we'll think about it, but until then... Boss weapons and armors from the Umbral guy. Does he sell boss weapons and armor? Archery, please. We can do some archery. Sure, sure. How long is the game supposed to be? Good question. No idea. Uh, that would be something to ask Google. I'm sure... I'm sure that the, uh, the devs have answered, like, Hey, generally speaking, it's probably going to be about this long. Loud noises! Uh, okay. But yeah. What's my opinion? It's more fun the longer I play it, which is cool. The combat is a weird mixture of smooth and clunky. The iframes for dodging feel very good. The parry window, if you have a faster weapon, feels great. Uh, the parrying is a lot of fun. The heavier weapons are a little too slow for my taste. Very much... Um, very much like Dark Souls 2 heavy weapons, you know? So, how's it compared to the original? Oh, it blows it out of the water, for sure. Um, yeah, like, I actually want to continue to play this, whereas the original, after we played it for like four hours on the second channel, I was done. So, can you parry everything? With everything? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, basically, if parrying is just perfect blocking. That's all it is. So, as long as your weapon can block, which it seems like everything can, you're good to go. Um, let's see, what else was everyone saying here? Is there a fire, a flamethrower pyro spell? The enemies were using one, so I can only assume that we'll get one eventually. Haven't really seen any pyro spells, though. We saw some miracle spells being sold, and we saw some regular magic spells being sold. I did not see anything else. Uh, how hard has the game been? Not very. Uh, I would say Dark Souls 2 difficulty boss wise um, the enemies seem to be fine um, yeah just don't rush in like I do occasionally and uh, you should be perfectly fine it's not that hard better than Lies P don't know haven't played it um, let's see is dying like Sekiro where you get a second wind and you can expand it expand I think you mean can I expand upon it sure yeah so dying depends entirely on what world you're in this music is very loud in my ears, probably not in yours. We're going to quickly 
get the bow going here. That way we can move on. And I can stop listening to this. Nope, nope, nope. Don't care about any of this. Yep. Change. Good. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Good. Um, okay. So, uh, what was the original question? Um, fuck. Missed it. <laughs> I lost it. Can you parry everything? We talked about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the Sekiro thing. Yeah, so when you die, if you're in the overworld, like I am right now, um, you die and then come back with about half your health in the shadow world, for lack of a better term, the umbral. Um, if you die in the umbral, you're dead forever and you, you respawn. But uh, you can also willingly go to the umbral and basically take away that safety net. Uh, and sometimes you actually have to to progress, but other times you use that to also find some goodies. So, uh, but that seems to be the case. And you can leave the umbral if you find certain points in the map that will let you come back to the overworld. So that is about what I've been able to glean from it so far. Uh, let's see here. They showed a character doing some crazy pyro magic in some gameplay. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure, like anything, like all these souls likes. Magic gets super cool the further in you get. Uh, starting off, it's kind of boring, but that's just kind of how it goes. You got to build that power fantasy, right? So, uh, let's see. Do you think the pair frames are different for weapons and shields? Yes, I think. I think there's probably some similarities. Like it seemed like the dagger and the light shields have the same parry window, and then like the heavy weapons seem to have the same parry window as like the fists. It's, there are some similarities. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like four different parry windows and, you know, every weapon fits into one of those categories. <clears throat> ah, sorry. A little, uh, losing my voice. Gotta have the, uh, sippy break there. Let's see. Are there fire bombs? There are. Uh, there's, at the range, they're considered a ranged weapon. It's kind of similar to how... Sultan Sacrifice does it where you have an ammo pool and then whatever ranged weapon you're using uses from or pulls from that ammo pool. Alright. Bow. Let's see. You can draw for super attack for decent damage or quick draw for 74. Um, and while it looks like you can only lock on, that's not true. Hold on a minute. Let me find another enemy here. If you don't lock on, <clears throat> you can also free aim. I don't know if headshots do more. I feel like they don't. So it's it's not about, you're not free aiming for headshots. You're just free aiming for like hitting items and things like that. Or maybe getting longer range where you're not locked in to combat with them. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's the ranged weapon. Um, or the bow anyway works just fine um now of course i'm out of ammo <laughs> and you you don't think you can have more like that there will probably be some upgrade to somehow where you can increase the amount of ammo that you can hold but haven't found that yet so are the bosses any good the bosses we fought have been pretty fun yeah yeah they've been uh they've been pretty good is the parry easy like sekiro or harder like Liza p can't say for Liza p but it is easy like sekiro for sure yes World building and atmosphere um, seems to be pretty good. Honestly, it's a little dark for me. It's not really my cup of tea. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad, though. Like, I'm not, I don't feel, like, completely lost or anything like that. So, I'd, I'd say it's probably fine. If you're digging this, like, the aesthetic and the world that you've seen so far, I'm sure you'll be fine in that regard. Let's see. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. Uh, are we going to challenge on this game? Not for a long time. No. Uh, it's like Demon Souls. When you die, you lose a percentage of health until you and this game's sake return to the normal world. Uh, I feel like that might be kind of stretching that analogy. Um, it's more like... What would that even be? I think it's more like Sekiro in the sense that you come back. I don't know. It's It's kind of its own thing. I don't think I'd really try to force the analogy like that. Um... What's the next challenge run? You'll see. You'll see. Can you dual wield axe and sword, for example? I do believe so. Yes. Yeah, we didn't test it much, but it, you can definitely do that. 
what was my initial level enjoyment level or what would you say your enjoyment level was on initial visit when i first started the first hour of the game felt kind of clunky and weird uh the next three hours that i've been playing have felt a lot better so definitely one of those definitely one of those games that you have to kind of get used to but once you do it is a lot of fun can't scavenge your arrows off your targets no it doesn't seem that way fist weapons well there's a bucket so yeah there's got to be some sort of fist weapons if there's already your regular fists and the bucket so there's that see you later adrian have a good one how do you get more arrows probably got rest at a bonfire would be my guess I don't think you're supposed to have a purely ranged build. I just don't think that's how the game wants to play. Major otherwise. Hey, you! Yeah, alright. It's a decent enough build, I suppose, huh? The Bloodborne. And then, of course, it looks like there's multiple types of arrows, so you'll be able to swap between arrows on the fly, which is pretty cool. You'll have at least three. So, I could see that being useful, or fun. And it's just a matter of uh, finding a way to refill your consumables. So. Alright, let's do one more thing. <laughs> I speak just as eloquently as my voiceover videos. Uh, I don't know, you must not be watching me very much. <laughs> Loud noises! Uh, <laughs> okay. Campos! What is this game? This is Lords of the Fallen 2023. It's coming out next week. A lot of people on the channel have been really excited about it, or at least very curious about it, so we're kind of just showing it off. But, uh, but yeah. When you respawn, can you still heal or to max, or is it a debuff? So when you respawn, you're, you have some wounding, which you can either attack an enemy and regenerate all back, back to full, or you can shove down a health pot of some kind and just do it that way too. So, uh, yes, multiple ways to get yourself back. You're not, it is not demon souls in the sense that when you die and you're in the underworld, for, for lack of a better term, um, you are not stuck at 50% health. You just respawn with 50% health and push yourself back. Yes, like the rally system, exactly. They say the bow can critical hit any, uh, bosses. Sweet. Well, there you go. How many bosses are there? No idea. No idea. Um, I was told for the stream, they said it would probably take about four to six hours to complete if we were really pushing. Um, not the game. Uh, it would take us four to six hours to complete the portion we're allowed to show, uh, which is about seven or eight bosses worth. I sincerely doubt they would have been like, yeah, complete half the game. So if that's the case, there's probably around 20 bosses, maybe more. I'm not sure. Someone will tell you that in the first week. <laughs> Someone else will tell you. 30 bosses? There you go. That was close. I was close. Yeah. Have any ideas for a challenge runner just playing for fun? Uh, not at the moment. I would have to get further and play around with mechanics to see if there's any mechanic that can be singled out and used for a challenge run. Difficulty rating? Eh, Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, I'd say. Yep, yep, yep. Do they have daggers? Oh, uh, yeah, let's, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do this. By the way, did you guys notice that we <laughs> we were playing all the advanced classes? <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we exiled Stalker. We haven't tried yet. We will do that right now. But the Preacher is an advanced class. The Cultist, Pyromancer, is an advanced class. Of course, the Bucket the Super, Pick at Your Own Risk class. So, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we may have uh, kind of set ourselves up for failure there a little bit, but that's all right. <laughs> By singled out, do you mean exploited? I mean, kind of. There are firebombs, people keep asking. Uh, however, it, it, the way they work, they are a ranged weapon, which means your consumable for them is a little... Uh, a little limited. Alright, so, as you can see with the daggers here, you can dual wield them for fast attacks, and that's fine. Personally, I like to switch to the one hand. It's not as fast, 
But the parry window. Look how fast it is. So quick. Which means... Which means... If I do it right... <laughs> lemon. We can get a crit real quick here. I want to see... Here it goes. Saw 230 something by the looks of that. Weirdly, that's not as strong as the cleric. Wow. Interesting. Huh. Well, there you go. Cleric is the first class I'll be playing through this game. Duly noted. Have I played the new Zelda? Nah. Nah, I haven't. I don't own a Switch, so I don't uh, play any of those yet. Eh, eh. Also, wait, there's a way to attack, like... What is it? Is it left bumper or right trigger at the same time? Yep, there it is. That's how you do it. Let's see how that works on enemies. Yeah! There you go. That's the strength of the dual daggers. Got a little flurry combo going on there. I'm also curious to see how good this, uh own dagger is here. Hey, you! I think... Was he bleeding? I think he was. Find another one. Uh, yep. He's bleeding. Did that just do, like, extra damage then? I think it just did some extra damage. Interesting. So it's not, like, a long effect. It's just a matter of, uh... Like a build up and then they take some extra hits. Hmm. Okay. Have they talked about multiplayer functionality at all? They have. We weren't allowed to play around with it though. I think they're still kind of um, stabilizing it. So I'm not sure. So. But uh, yeah. There you go. That's the uh, that rogue class as well. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Does the thing. Looking forward to the bucket run. Yeah, okay. <laughs> No. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, Campos, how are the creators of this masterpiece and I will have online? Uh, so it does have online, for sure. Um, there is multiplayer. You can play co-op together, from what I understand. Uh, so there's that. I don't know if there's PvP, per se. But, uh, but yeah. How are the creators, though? Um, well, they are CI Games, I think, is the developer. They're the same guys that made the originals. Um, yeah, I don't really, I haven't really kept up with them at all, but they seem like they're actively fixing the game with everything that, uh, all the content creators have been telling them to do, or not to do, but telling them where there's problems, they've been fixing it, so that's good. Yeah. What about the Dark Crusader class? We don't have that. I do not have access to that. I do not have a deluxe edition. Um, so I don't know. Personally, as I always advocate, I never suggest making any kind of pre-order. And I also am not a fan of deluxe editions. I understand why people do them sometimes. But personally, I feel like more often than not, you'll get the content that they're offering later in the game. So it would have saved you $10 if you had just played the game. Um, or it makes the game just kind of super easy more often than not. Like they'll give you some super powered end game shit. For like, you're you're just paying to play less of the game, you know. So I'm not a, I don't advocate for that. That's up to you. Uh, you'll need to look at somebody else to see what the Dark Crusader does, because I don't actually know. But uh, yeah, personally myself will not be playing that. Um, why did I decide to make the Backlogs channel? I was very bored <laughs> during uh, the uh, the time where we were all stuck inside. So. Uh, and challenge runs just became a thing that happened because I was streaming Sultan Sanctuary. Somebody asked me to do a challenge run. I did it, had fun, did another, and then decided I wanted to make long-form content rather than stream. And here we are. That's how it go. You heard the horn in the last video? Hmm. <laughs> you noticed it, huh? Yeah, I'll sneak it in occasionally, you know. Gotta have that little in-joke. Is this worth $70 for two local players? Uh, can you do that? I'm not sure. Does this have couch co-op? If it has couch co-op, yes, I would say so. Because then it's thirty-five bucks, and thirty-five bucks. This game is absolutely worth thirty-five bucks. 
I would pay 50 personally, myself. Um, but uh, $70 seems a bit too much. So You unlock the Dark Crusader class for new characters by getting a certain ending. See, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Like, Play the game, have fun with it, and then that's your reward for beating the game is more content. Rather than pay to have the same amount of content you would have, uh, you know. No, thank you. No, thank you. Was it worth the hype? I don't know. How much hype is there? I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Now that I've had a lot, like I've had about four hours of time with it, I am enjoying it a lot more. The first hour was kind of rough. It took me to get used to it. But now it's better. Let's see. You are concerned about it being $70? Yeah, like I said, I would not myself pay $70. I would pay 50 Maybe 60 once they, like, a few weeks later when all the patches are through and it's not going to crash on us. But, yeah, that's the thing. You'll be playing locally with a friend who use game sharing. You only need one copy. Well, hell yeah. In that case, yeah, 35 bucks a guy. Oh, that's a, that's a sell. I can see this being fun with two players. For sure. <laughs> it is definitely better than the first one. That I can say without any semblance of a doubt. For sure. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, well, that's the thing, you guys. You gotta vote with your wallets. You gotta vote with your wallets. Play the games that seem fun to you. Uh, again, I personally advocate for never pre-ordering. Uh, it's better to look at reviews and see what's wrong with the game, if it's kind of goofed or scuffed in any way, that kind of thing. Uh, and then put your money where your mouth is. How much longer are we gaming? Eh, not much longer. I think we're pretty much wrapping up here. How's the fashion? I mean, if you like dark and gritty, <laughs> there was we had a we found a chess piece that had a human head attached to the back of it, so you got that. That's a thing. All right, yeah, spiffing bread is out. Oh, go get him. Go say hi. Thanks for stopping by, though. I'm, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you learned. Hopefully, what you did. Check out your color tinks. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have that. Not on this character. Let me load the character that got the furthest. Which one is it? Probably the level 16, if I had to guess. Yeah, that looks about right. You missed the human head? <laughs> it's it's there somewhere. <laughs> we put it on and immediately took it off. I was like, ew, gross, no. Uh, okay, so here's this. Let's see. Let's put on some armor that isn't just a dark robe. What we got here? Let me get some. Let's get some light in here too while we're at it, so we can see what the hell's going on. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So how's this work? How does this work? Inventory. Tinctures are where? Here it is. Uh, can't use it here. Allows you to change the color of your armor. Those who wield the blade from supply. Blah 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 blah. All right, yeah, and this is another one of those UI issues that I hope they kind of fix the clarity of. Because I go to it, and I say, A, and I can't do anything. But if I go to, like, say, maybe this. Switch panels. No, not that. How do? Is it an item? Is it a quick access item? No. How do I do this? Carry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, shit. How do we do this? I've done it once on accident, and I did not... Oh, tinks. There it is. Uh, okay, current equipment. Let's put it on the cloak. Oh, look. There we go. <laughs> Can I put it on all of them? Oh. I do like that. Interesting. So yeah, you can you could just uh Huh. Okay, so that's how the tinctures work. Uh you basically can uh, collect multiple colors, apply it multiple times, which is awesome. And it uh lets you just change the color of your armor. I like that. That's cool. That is very cool. 
how many how are the rings we've only found one but this one uh is the uh you know the chlorinthy ring increases maximum stamina and stamina regen pretty cool if the rest of them are that powerful then i am here for it for sure could you hide your headpiece good question uh settings i would think that would be gameplay that's usually where you hide that right we can turn camera shake off and turn off the parry window camera that's cool not seeing anything about that, though. Window mode, duh, 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 duh. graphics. Does not appear like you can take off your helmet unless it's in something else like equipment. Obviously, you can just unequip it. Not that you'd want to do that. Um. Yeah, not sure. Oh, hey, a photo mode. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. For those of you that need a thumbnail. There it is. That's nice. I like that. Cool, cool, cool. Does character customization seem in-depth? It's pretty big, yeah. Yeah, it's better than Dark Souls. Um, one through three, for sure. Uh, there's a lot. There's probably about 20 hairstyles, maybe 15 beards tattoos out the wazoo um and then your typical sliders they let you you know fuck around with everything so yeah no there's plenty of uh, character customization i don't think it's really worth <laughs> doing too much with it considering you know this is what your character ends up looking like anyway but uh you can <laughs> carrie's gonna go through the whole our father over there <laughs> thank you i appreciate it yeah hopefully they add the hide helm option later that would be cool that would be cool um, 30 hours length, is that what they're saying? Okay. Okay. That feels about right. That feels like it probably doesn't overstay its welcome with 30 hours. I could see that. See that view off the cliff? Oh, sure. Yeah. No problem. We're, uh, looking pretty cool out there. For those of you that played the original, you probably recognize that out there in the distance. Big old god hand or whatever the hell that is. That, now that I look at it, now that I look at all of these, actually, those two, three red lights actually probably indicate, I'll go to the journal, not this guy, not this guy either. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see things. Hmm. All right, interesting. You know someone's going to make a lore video about these fucking maps, right? <laughs> <laughs> this here, this picture here represents this and that. Yeah. Uh, that is the way of it. <laughs> Flay men. <laughs> Carry. That's good. About one hour per boss? Yeah, honestly. Uh, that seems about right. That seems about right. It's cheaper to split it over three jets. Hey, no, you do what you gotta do, man. It's all good. You do what you gotta do. I am not complaining. You wanna see the glitches with camera mode? See the glitches with camera mode? You, oh, you mean like... How did I even camera mode it? What did I press? There it goes. <laughs> that's about as far as I can go. Wait! There we go. That's as far as I can go. Look at the birds! Ooh. Well, that's an image. God hand, meet the god eyes! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just bros sitting around a thing. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Pretty cool. What was that? That's a big old demon hand. Interesting. Not sure what to make of that. Is the original that bad? The original was really bad. Um, It was slow. It was clunky unresponsive and the camera makes me nauseous which is not a good thing um definitely none of those problems here they have uh they have absolutely learned from the three or four games they've created between now and then uh can safely say that this is a, a very good improvement over the original 2014 one what's my favorite weapon daggers i like the daggers or rather the broken sword actually seems to be my favorite for some reason not sure why it seems faster than the real daggers. I wonder if that's a thing. Questions. Questions to have. Is there anything I would change about the game? The UI. 
I would change the UI. It's um, not great. I th it needs some cleaning up. It needs some uh, player utilization, for sure. It's a different dev altogether? Uh, I don't think so. I think they changed their name of their studio, but it's still the same ones. They're still CI games. Maybe not. I'd have to do some... Uh, I'd have to do some look. I'd have to do some research on that one there. Um, I know CI Games was the original ones that made 2014, and now they're making this one, but maybe there's a different developer? Like, maybe the publisher is the same and the developers are different? I'm not quite sure. Someone else will have to look into that. I have not shown the emotes, you're right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Agreeing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> These are pretty good, actually. Uh-uh. Pointing forward, naturally. Gotta have that for PvP. Pew, pew. <laughs> Pointing upward. Nice, nice. Oh, the point down. <laughs> Get really in their face about it. That's cool, I like that. Uh, what else do we have? The Dark Crusaders Challenge, whatever this is, and whatever this is. Alright. Okay, yep, your typical PvP-esque challenge there. Prayer. Oh, we've seen that. Yeah, we've seen some enemies doing that, actually. And the Putrid Mother's Embrace. Feels right. Those are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool. The emotes don't fit this world. Uh, they're meant for co-op, right? They're meant for playing with other players that don't have a microphone. So it's more to... You have to be clear. You have to convey something, and you have to do that with, uh... Clarity that transcends language, if that makes any sense. So, there's not a single gun and why the hand cannon emote. It's not actually a hand cannon. I think it's just that was the easiest way for them to kind of see. It's not. He's not actually hand cannoning. Personally, I would have tucked the thumb in myself. Would have been a little less of a hand cannon, but uh, yeah. Interpretive dance, exactly. Yeah. It says this is their debut game. Okay, well, there you go. So, yeah, it's the same publisher, but a different developing studio. Cool. Neat. Sounds good. Um, have we tried dual wielding? Mm, briefly. Let's, let's fix that problem now, shall we? So, we've got our two weapons here. Pretty standard move sets. About right. Uh, you can still block... Dual wield blocking, repairing is a little slower than I like. Uh, let's get the... Yeah, so there you go. It's about what you'd expect for a dual wield. Is it the same across everything? Like if I put... That was a sword and an axe. What if I do a stick? What is this, What is the stick supposed to be? A spear? A hammer. Yeah, that's about the same. Alright, let's, what if we get it really wild with it? Like, let's say, a uh, pointed stick and another spear. Dual spears. Um, appears to be the same moveset, regardless of which weapons you're using. I think it's safe to say. Well, let's see. If I have a spear and a uh, quote-unquote hammer... Yep, same thing. So, uh, so the dual wielding is the same across, doesn't matter which weapons you're using, it has the same animations. Um, kind of a bummer, but also at least good, because you can very clearly just mix and match anything, which means that, say for example, I want to use this spear because it's got some, uh, some fire damage on it, and I want to mix, I don't know, this thing which has, like, something else that has, like, holy damage... You're not going to be limited by the fact that it's a holy mace and a fire spear, right? Like, you can still do it. So, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Don't actually hit the guy? What, this guy? This dude? I would never. I would never. <laughs> Can't patch him. Hopefully they add a patch to be patches. That would be fun. You wish they had more gun-like weapons? Um, they have... Well, we've seen throwing daggers. We've seen a rock. 
<laughs> we've seen pyromancy, miracles, magic, throwing axes, a bow, no guns. Unless you count, like, the holy spells as finger guns, in which case, you know, there you go. How far are we? Uh, we cleared probably about four bosses. So, we went a little slower than we were supposed to. But, uh, we saw a good amount, I'd say. We saw enough to give people at least some idea of what they're looking forward to, or not interested in. Would I ever collaborate with another YouTuber? I have collabed before, and we're currently working on the Dark Souls 1 contest challenge. Uh, video, which was a collab with like 10 or 12, I can't remember the exact number, other YouTubers. Uh, it takes a lot out of you, though, so I don't know if I'd really do it very often, for sure. What class did we pick? Uh, chat wanted me to be a pyromancer, so we did that. Yep, yep, yep. The person has crossbows? Also true, good point. Uh, linear, not open world. No, definitely linear. Think Dark Souls 2. Think Dark Souls 2. Ah, there we go. Alright. Uh, any other questions you guys have before we sign off? Anything else you guys want to know? Like I said, just want to make sure you guys give, uh, want to make sure you guys have all the questions answered and everything like that. That's the whole point of the stream. Just want to make sure. How did the spells feel? Uh, we only got to play with a couple the ones I got right now feel kind of meh. The damage is fine, but it's just press button, throw spell. However, from the list we saw, it does appear like there's some really cool stuff, like uh, making mines and things like that. So I think we just had a bad spread of not having any of the advanced spells. I think it's going to be better the further you get in. How am I doing today? Doing fine. Thanks for asking. When's the firebomb run? Nah, <laughs> no, probably not. Probably not. Favorite color is yellow. No feet, maiden? Um, I'm pretty sure the lady that upgrades your health pots uh, does have bare feet, so, you know, do with that information what you will. Do with that what you will. What's the 1x in the top right corner? Uh, I think that's a carryover from the original. Basically, the more enemies you kill without going to a bonfire, the more souls they drop. Um, once you go to a bonfire, that resets back to one. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to try and... I know people are asking questions about like challenge runs and things. I'm going to try and keep it to just the game for now. Are we going to finish this game at least in my free time? What free time? What free time? What are you on about? Crazy. Can the magician parry? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, literally everything in this weapon, in this game can parry, including bare fist. Uh, like, yeah. So for example, cause it, what it is, is it's a catalyst. It's like an offhand. So you put your main weapon, whatever it happens to be, whether it's the, uh, stave or spears or daggers or whatever, you put that there and you'll parry with that. And then when you hold left trigger, you go into ranged mode and that's where you cast your spells. So, that's how that works. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Let's see. Is there any weapon art type of stuff? It doesn't appear so, but at the same time, we did not see any boss weapons or things like that. So, I know the devs were talking up the boss weapons, so chances are there's something about that. I can't answer that. Someone else will, for sure. What outfits did we get? Ah, all sorts of things. Just a few random bits and bobs, you know. A lot of pe pilgrim stuff and weird faces. You know. The masks are something else in this game, I'll tell you what. They are... They're a bit extra. But yeah, you know that. So would I recommend it? I would recommend... Waiting. I would recommend... If you're playing on PC, well, regardless, I would recommend waiting at least a week to let them work out the bugs and the kinks, regardless of whether or not this looks interesting to you. And if you, if the game looks interesting and sounds like it's fun, it's probably worth it if you wait. Um, if you're going to play co-op with a buddy and you both go in halvesies, definitely worth it for sure. Personally, I'd pay 50 for it. It sounds like they're asking for 60 or 70. I'm not sure which. So, 
you're just gonna have to use your own judgment on that one there. Yeah. Does mana regenerate? No. No. You have to either rest or use one of these items here, this small mana stone cluster. At least as far as I can tell. I would not doubt that there is either some equipment or a ring or something like that that regenerates mana somewhere in the game. Um, so maybe keep an eye out for that. But uh, we haven't found that. Didn't we get a boss weapon flail? I think so. Is this a boss weapon flail? I guess so. But we don't really have the stats for it. So I'm not sure if we're missing something with it or what. Hmm. Flail's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I don't know if this is, like, technically a boss weapon. I feel like the devs hinted that you would get something from bosses, like a soul or something, and then that would be used with, like, the blacksmith to make an actual boss weapon. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. You don't need a fire axe till you find a greatsword? Uh, one of the starting characters has a greatsword. Done. You're good to go. Start, start it off right. Do you know if arrows can regenerate, you can get them back? Well, you definitely can't get them back from enemies. Um, there is a consumable that we've been picking up, this uh, ammunition pouch, which you might as well use real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Throwing hand. Just throw a couple fire bombs here. There we go. Yeah, let's just use all of them. There we go. And now, if we go to... Let's go down to here. Ammunition pouch. Slip it over. Pop that bad boy. Oh, there you go. It's a full stock. Cool. So what... What is this, then? A pouch of assorted ammunition. A satchel. This must be for later in the game. Like, when you expand your ammunition pouch. I'm sure it's like... One gives you a certain amount, and the other one gives you more. That's the only that's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, that's the only way you can regenerate uh, ammo, either with a consumable item or by resting. All right, let's see. Does the equip a shield and run at an enemy strat still work? Uh, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you have to actually try. <laughs> I think you have to actually try now. What's the eye icon in Umbral? Uh, yeah, so it seems like the longer you're in the umbral, the more the the space starts spawning in those, like, mini mobs, um, which will eventually overwhelm you. So, basically, it starts spawning in enemies and making it more and more difficult to traverse. So, you gotta kind of go as quick as you can. Yeah. What's the currency called in this game? Vigor. I do believe. Is this like Dark Souls? It's like Dark Souls 2. Yeah. But it's also got lots of elements from like Bloodborne and other other games. It's really weird. I couldn't. I can't point at one game and say it's like that. How fast paced is the combat? Depends on the weapon. It's uh, Dark Souls Two. Dark Souls Two paced combat. I would say. Does the combat feel clunky? Not nearly as bad as the original. I would say. Honestly, it's just, like I said, I keep saying, Dark Souls 2. If you've played Dark Souls 2's combat, it's about that, maybe, give or take. A little better than that, a little better than Dark Souls 2, but not, we're not talking like Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3 level of uh, polish and speed. Not that. Yeah, but not clunky, though. Not that, though. You really angry about the loading screen? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be angry about it. Oh, it's, not, it's a video game, it's not worth getting angry over. But, uh, it is weird. I think, I'm hoping that's a placeholder. I'm hoping that's a placeholder and they work on that. Four spell slots seems like not much. I mean, you can swap it out mid-run. Like, you don't have to go to a bonfire to swap out your spells. You can just kind of open up inventory, swap it out real quick and go, Alright, there you go. So... Um, personally, I feel like that's enough because you're out of buttons after that point. So, yeah. No, it should be fine. What's that red beam? I don't know. Something lore related. Combat rating from 0 to 10. I'd give it about an 8, I would say. It feels good. It's a little slow. The, or rather, the bigger weapons feel a little slow, but they don't feel clunky. 
But I'm not a big weapon kind of guy, so I'm not the one to judge that. The daggers feel good. Not perfect, but good. I've had better daggers, let's put it that way. Um, but the iframes and the parry windows are nice. Is there a quip load? Yes. You can see it actually right below my quick access items, the encumbrance. I'm currently at medium. Um, so there's definitely some sort of equip load for sure. But it does appear to be very clear about uh, what you're at. So that's good. Armor design? Eh, that's what you'd expect. Mm -mm. Yeah, I couldn't speak to the story. Um, seems fine. Not really my... Uh, not really the kind of story that I'm, like, super into. So, again, I'm the wrong guy to ask about whether or not it's good. But uh, there is a story. I can say that much, at least. Um, you can play with others, yes. I can't on the stream. I'm not allowed to show multiplayer stuff. I think they're still working on it. Or, rather, they're still uh, solidifying it and making it better. But, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> not not angry. Your English vocabulary is limited. Ah, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. But yeah, no, I, I am a little concerned, and I hope that they fix that loading screen as well. Yeah. Does the heavy roll look silly? I don't know. We actually haven't been heavy this entire time. Let's find out. What is the heaviest shit I own? Seven and a half. Sixteen. Yes. Five. Uh, nine. There we go. Wow, we really have to, we have to work for it, don't we? Shit. Uh, let's see, here's an eight. That sword is my heaviest weapon, really? Huh, wouldn't have guessed. Here's an, I can't do it twice. There's a 5.6, 6.5, 6 6.8, there we go. 8.5, the one I've already got. Shit. Uh, well, with everything equipped, um, I'm still at medium roll. So, there must be some crazy heavy armor in the late game or something that I'm not aware of. Um, as you can see, medium roll is fine. Nothing wrong with it. We've been working with it this entire time. Hasn't bothered me any. As for light... The light, uh... It feels a, l a little faster. Just a little faster. So, yeah, there you go. Hey, you made it. A little late, but you made it. Yes, you did, Cheetos. <laughs> That's not how you say your name at all, and I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I can't I can't unsee it. I'm sorry. Thanks for six months. I appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging in with that terrible, terrible joke of mine. How's the magic balanced? Ah, it seems fine. I, it doesn't seem overpowered. So... Does it feel good playing on a mouse or keyboard? Well, that's a good question. Um, let's here. This is me playing on a keyboard. Uh, well, I can certainly move the camera a lot faster. I'm sure you can turn that down. That's how we strong attack. How do you lock? That's a dodge. Honestly, um, it's definitely not my cup of tea because I don't like to play over the shoulder games with a controller or without a controller. But it doesn't feel bad. I'm sure it's fine. It's like, it looks like R to use your weapons and things. Yeah, no, this looks fine. It looks... Mouse wheel to scroll through items. One to swap between hand and lantern. How do you... I wonder how you... Uh, shift is block. It's kind of a weird choice. Tab is to switch between the two. That's fine. G is emote. Okay. <laughs> how does one... Throw things. Usually it'd be F, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I will say though, if I go to let's say controls, key bindings, it's got key bindings. So if there's anything that's weird, you can definitely uh, you can actually fix it. So yeah, no, I think it, I think as far as keyboard and mouse is concerned, it's gonna be fine. And it switches uh, really nicely back, right back to controller. No, no issues there. Very cool. Let's see. Whoops. Hold on. I broke it. Now I broke it. That's me. <laughs> That's just me trying to... There we go. There we go. Sorry. Ignore all that. That wasn't that. 
It doesn't have controller support? Oh, it does. No, I've been using a controller this entire time. Well, it's fine. Any drop at, uh, any frame rate drops? Yes. Yeah, there have been a few frame rate drops, uh, whenever going to a new area. Hence my whole, eh, I'd wait kind of deal. Because my computer should be able to handle this no problem. Um, so I think it's the game, not my computer. So, yeah. How's the fall damage? It exists. It is there. Yeah, so long and short of it. Good game. Not sure if worth $60. Probably worth $60 if you're looking at this and chomping at the bit, wanting to get it. If everything you've seen has been like, that sounds fun, then yeah, okay. It, it'll probably be worth it. Um, if you are hesitant, I would wait. If you're going to play it co-op with a buddy, apparently that's a thing that you can do. Uh, I don't know for sure, but if you can actually play the game together on the same console and you can each chip in half, yeah, it's well worth the... 30 35 dollars whatever it is that it would cost for both of you for sure you paid 80 well that was a choice <laughs> well that was a choice i hope you enjoy it though you know like i said i'm not having a bad time i'm not having a bad time it's good mm -mm -mm. so yeah i think that's a quick assumption of or a, a very quick summary of like would i suggest it yes maybe depends on the circumstance it's not an immediate absolute like yes for sure you know but uh if, if you're liking it i'd say so i'd say so you getting the deluxe still hey again that's a choice all you that is a choice like i say personally i don't advocate for that kind of thing just because that teaches game companies that they can continue to do that kind of stuff uh, it then becomes the slippery slope. See Diablo Immortal. Um, but, uh, you know, if you if you can't stand to play through the game once and you want to get that Crusader class right away, well, there you go. It's your money. You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. This sounds like the end of stream, for sure. Wait for a Steam sale sort of thing? Uh, if this goes on a Steam sale, which, you know, obviously it probably wouldn't be until... Christmas at the earliest, I would guess. Um, but if it goes on sale, yeah. Yeah, it's worth it for sale, for sure. How difficulty? Difficulty feels like Dark Souls 2. That's the best way I can describe it. Why are we naked? Ah, uh, we were playing around with the uh, equipment load. So, alright. Uh, other than that, though, guys, I think that's about all we can cover. Um, we've pretty much covered everything there was to see base game anyway um i feel like we've answered most of the questions about the mechanics and everything else i think we're good if you are still on the fence i'm sure there's multiple other streams that will be happening not with me of course but i know lobos jr did a stream and i know fighting cowboy has access to the game ouroboros is playing it there's a lot of creators that are out there playing the game so um, there's plenty of opinions out there. I would hope that between this stream and those guys, that you should be able to, uh, form your own opinion on whether or not this is worth your money. So, um, go get them. As far as this is concerned, though, I think that's enough of this game for me. We will not be streaming this game again. Uh, at least not anytime soon. I don't want to spoil things for anybody. Um, so we'll kind of leave that as it is but uh whether or not this becomes a challenge run game is yet to be seen just like with liza p just like with any other games that have recently come out i like to give them some time to breathe that way the audience doesn't feel like they have to avoid my videos um you know give you guys some give you guys a month or three to kind of get through it and also then the, that way we kind of avoid the rush of everyone trying to get things out first because i can't I can't do that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I hope you guys had fun. Um, next week, as I kind of hinted at earlier, we will be doing another stream next week of a different challenge run, an actual challenge run, um, because I need some extra time to finish editing the Dark Souls 1 one-shot contest video that everyone keeps screaming at me about. Um... <laughs> I'd like to get that off my plate. I'd like to get it off my hard drive. So uh, for the next 
two weeks or so, I will be focusing entirely on editing that. So, next week, for those of you that stuck around this long listening to me babble about nothing, uh, next week we'll be playing Dark Souls 1 Immolation Only. So, look look forward to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to let that sink in and let you guys just kind of think about that. But in any case, thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate you guys being here. Um, I hope that this helped you decide what you want to do. I hope this helped you decide if it's worth your money or if you should hold on to it for something else. And uh, if this was a game that you were interested in, I hope it kind of uh, got you excited to play it. So, like I said, I know I'm having a good time with it. I'll probably play through it at least once, and uh, who knows? Challenge on stuff in the, late, in the future? Maybe. So, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. See you all again next week. Take care.